Hello everybody! Hello! How are you doing? Hope you are well! Okay, hello to kick off. Hello Tom, how are you? And I love your new Bobo arcade machine. It's fantastic. Hope you're well. It looks superb in your arcade room. Hello to Lord Infinity. Good to see you. Hello to Michael Jensen. Hello everybody! Rusty James, hello everybody! How are you doing? Hello to Awesome Automator. Hope you have a nice break. Hello Johnny Cribs. Hello! David Edson, hello everybody, good to see you. Man Cave Hobbies, hello Heath. Zajag, good to see you. Andrew Dubliant, hello everybody. Michael McCartney, haven't seen you for a while. Welcome, I hope you're all well. I wasn't sure what to start with today, but I thought, why not? Let's go with a driving game. Now, I've got a little bit extreme for today. However, also, quite a lot of the games should be sort of fairly longish sort of attempts, apart from maybe two of them. So, it could be quite a lot to get through, but of course, King Arthur, I saw your request there. I'll try and fit it in whenever I can, if I can. I'll try my best, buddy. You know I will. Uh, anyway, I'm going to start off with Lotus 3. This is the one I've played the least of all the Lotuses. Hello, Oxo Good. Good to see you. I hope you are well. Only making a sound as awesome as this. Exactly, mate. Absolutely superb. I love it. Now, this is not the first one I played. The first one I played was actually Lotus 2, which I'm sure was the same with quite a lot of you. But we've got all questions on that. Hello. Hello, 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 good to see you. A bit loud, is it? Okay, no words at all, I can adjust that. Um, also, this is the first stream I've done since my PC has now been fixed. I had a few issues, but good old Brex187 fixed it for me. It turned out it was actually a fault with the fan. The fan was basically overheating. The one that was originally there wasn't just, it was too small basically. It couldn't cope, it couldn't deal with it. So we've got a brand new one. Anyway, I hope you are Karen, good to see you. Right, not gonna play this one very long. Anyway, how is everyone doing? How is everyone week been? Hope you're all well. Let's go. I don't think Morgan this game's gonna fit in there. We'll give it a try though. No. You know this fit wrong. Let's go for Jamie, be easier. Everyone okay? Yes, yes. I had to buy a brand new fan. Basically, the one that was in there. It was too small, so of course it was overheating, and it was getting so hot it was actually turning itself off. So, £69 I think I paid for it, and Rex fixed it for me, so thank you once again to Wes, it works incredibly well. And now I'm using all the memory, there was an issue with the memory as well, and he's managed to resolve that as well. It's a combination of him and a little bit of advice from Steve Boy, thank you guys, you're awesome. Lotus Freak was on A500, he now played on the Mega. First time I played this was about three years ago. I didn't play it in the other days. Not even a demo. But two was a different story. I had a tooth extracted on Monday, but I'm okay now. Mate, I wish you all a full speedy recovery. Yes. I have to admit, I've not been to the dentist for a while because of all this COVID malarkey. But yes, I need to get back to getting my teeth looked at. But yeah, I know the pains of that. I've had a few extracted. Most of them have been at the back, so it's not, it doesn't sort of stick out like a sore thumb, but hopefully you're okay. But yeah, the injections is a horrible thing, isn't it? Makes your mouth all funny. Anyway, got tea, got a little bit of beer, why not? I have to admit I'm a bit tired, so I haven't really sort of planned a lot today. But anyway, we're going to go for a automatic, always tend to with a driving game, and fire is accelerate. Now this game, you can also build tracks, however I've never done it. That's fine, that's fine. Hello to Lee Robertson, good to see you. I'll adjust it a little bit. Right, select my car. Let's go for... why not? How you doing Lee Robertson? How is the Robertson's family today? Hope you're well. Is that Jack? Hope you're well too. Should be right now, we've got sound effects. I have to admit, when it comes to driving games, I do prefer sound effects. Even though the music in this game is sensational. They all are. But this bit is very much like... Um, Jagger, isn't it? Now, I don't have a box version of this, but the only box version I have is on Lotus 2. So, let's start the first question with... Why not? What was the first driving game you played on the Amiga? Lee Robertson, are you working this weekend? Because you're, you're still working nights, aren't you? Have you got the weekend off? I hope so. Now, driving games and streaming is quite tough. It always is. So good, I've got a beer here, why not? It's green though, it's going to be eliminated by a green screen, but not yet, I'm a bit too, uh, a bit too early to get tipsy yet. However, I won't get tipsy. Test drive for sure. Right, let's give it a try. But yeah, so super game. What I don't like about this one is I'm not overly keen on the road surface. It looks like uh, a finishing flag. 
But anyway, let's see how we do. We'll be playing it for a long period of time. We've got a lot of games to play today. But it's always nice to spice it up. Anyway, hope you're all well. Hope, hope you've had a good week. What are you doing this weekend? Anyone got any plans? Techno Cop? Not played that for years. I believe that was on the CC4 the first time I played that. It was on disk drive. Can't remember a lot about it. A bit of a blur, I have to admit. Grand Prix, hello Sam, good to see you. How are you doing? Sober, I am sober, yes. I'm not drinking yet. I can't drink too much, I'll be off my trolley, but one should be okay. I should be okay with that. Turbo zone. Checkpoint, yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But yeah, the first game I played on the Mega, which was a driving lazy game, it was either Lotus 2 or Supercars 2. And both of them weren't actually ours. We played them around people's houses. And uh, both games absolutely blew me away and my brother away. It was amazing. What, what an achievement. And uh, I'm not brilliant at driving games. I never have been. Um, but I do enjoy playing them. A bit like football. I don't like football, but I love playing football games. I'm probably a little bit better at football games than driving games, but at the moment of time, we're okay. Now this one, we've got laps, which of course, in the other ones, I don't know about Lotus 1, but Lotus 2, you didn't have laps, it's one big long level. Hello to Mr. Spud and Daz, good to see you, hope you're well, good to see both of you. And Simon, good to see you, haven't seen your name before? Hello everybody, good to see you. And Daz Gamer, hello everybody, awesome people joining at once, hello everybody, good to see you. Simon Prime, Vroom, I played Vroom, but not in the other days, but yeah, good game, love it, superb, don't know the box version of it. Supercars, I've only played two. I've never played three or one, believe it or not. But no, I've had superb games, alright. Yep, Froome, superb game. Again, didn't play it much. Um, what do you, um, Johnny Cribs, what, what is, what do you prefer? Supercars 1 or Supercars 2? I think I have that reading at the same time. Runs quite fast. Yes. Well, here, hopefully, <laughs> not too fast, not ludicrous speed. Hopefully it's okay, it's getting shot. Not a bad start. I think mine would have been Lotus Turbo Challenge, the original. It is a good game, it is a good game, but I, I don't like the split screen. But I suppose the more you play it, the more you adapt to it, the more you get used to it. But Stevie Boy, it's his favourite one of the three. We just played Room Loads. Finished it? Completed it? Two definitely, yeah? No second prize, that's great music. Yes, that was the one that appears on Get It UK's channel. If you see it, I don't think he is, no. Yes, super game. Never played it though. But super what I've seen on, online. I've only seen it online, I've never actually played it personally. Cheers, can I cheers with a ching ching with a tea? Why not? We'll go for it. Cheers. What are you drinking, Daz Gamer? Good to see you. Chase HQ, what's your first? Was that on the media? I have a box version of one. I don't have a box version of two. Can't remember the last time I played two. It's a long, 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 long time ago. Play it tonight, please. What game is that? <laughs> um, oh, well, you're talking about some no second prize. Chucky Egg. You love your Chucky Egg, don't you? I've got quite a lot of games on my list today, I have to admit. Need my eyes tested, I think. Chat is a bit blurry, is it? Try refresh. It should be okay. It should be okay. Stunt Car Race is brilliant, but again, I hadn't played it in the old, old days. I'll write it on the list, if I can fit it in. Um, I'll try. Can't go on T, or I'll try. It's sort of 3D-ish, isn't it? I'm not a big fan of bike games, but there is a... Well, no, that's not technically true. I'm not a fan of bikes. Um, but, I, but I like football, really. I'm not a fan of football, but I like football games. But like bikes, I'm not a fan of them, but... Playing games is a different story. And what was it? Uh, Weird Dreams as well was requested. If I can fit it in, mate. The thing about Weird Dreams is not only is it difficult, it won't be a long piece of footage because I can't get very far. But I'm trying. Every so often I have a little go. But no second prize, never played it before. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's going to be a little bit too extreme. I'll try. I don't know if I'll do it. I don't know if I play all of them. But yeah, what ones I don't play, I can play on a future stream. I think that's going to be a little bit too crazy now. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Totally agree. Andrew Stablein. F17 was good. Yes, I got it on CD32. 3D like Racer is. Um, yeah, leave on soon. Just do a quick refresh. It should be that. It shouldn't be blurry. Let me know in the comments box below if you manage to resolve it. But let me know on the chats for everyone else. Is it blurry? Is it easy to read? Let me know. Feedback is always nice, always handy. 
Yeah, a few people said poor, but yeah, I guess it depends on... I mean, here it's chucking it down with rain. That might affect your internet. I'm not sure. Maybe. It's sharp. Okay. Right, so how much time... I can't really see much of the time. My monitor screen's blocking it. 34 seconds. How many laps? Five? Is it five? Right, fifth. Okay, we need to go a little bit faster than this, Jamie. Okay. Hi, everybody. Head to Skinwalker. Good to see you. How you doing, buddy? What's your latest film you've been watching on your laser disc? You've got a large collection. Superb. Seems okay. Brilliant. Superb. Yeah, it's one of those things that, yeah, sometimes it's alright and sometimes it's not. It's not just my channel, but sometimes I'm watching chats, other people's chats, and yeah, it does seem a little bit funky. And, uh, yeah, a quick refresh. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, yeah, I suppose... Oh, my Lord, it's not a good start, Jamie. Um, yeah. I don't know if it comes down to YouTube or what. I'm not sure. What's the weather like where you guys are? It's absolutely chucking it down. Head to Sablewolf. Good to see you. And David Jensen, hope you're well, too. No issues on your big screen. How big is your TV? <laughs> Probably bigger than mine, isn't it? 32 seconds. Right, Jamie, no more contact. We've hit too many here. I'm trying to read at the same time. Not blow for you. How you doing, Rusty James? Were you back at work this week? I hope you and Dee had a great holiday. You deserved a great holiday. It looks like you had good weather as well. A bit different now. It's horrendous over here. What's it like up there? Brings back memories, yes. Treasure those memories, yes. Mega has lots of memories, so does CC4. And the PlayStation 1 and 2. Right, 37. We should be okay, as long as we don't hit any trees or signposts or cars. Back at work. <laughs> That's what I say to that. <laughs> but you're still working from home. I have to admit, I would like to do that, but of course, it's never ever going to happen. But that would be superb to work from home. But of course, you have to do in the right sort of job, and mine will not allow it. Right, I'll read that in a moment. One more lap. It should be okay. Should be okay. Was D back at work as well? 24. Should be okay. Yeah, driving games is what to shoot them up. So probably the most difficult to stream and read at the same time. You know, that's technically the same thing. Play, read, and stream is what I meant to say. Chat is fine. Hope you're well stable, Wolf, by the way. Uh, hello, everybody. It's fine for you. Good. Yeah, Lee Robertson, I hope your family's alright. How old is, uh, how old is, um, the little one now? How old is he now? No issues playing on the TV. A bit wet here. This brings back memories playing with my best mate who died of cancer. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. 18, that's so young. Hello to Harry Longbone, good to see you. Mate, that's so, that's bad, that's so bad. Uh, there is an updated stunt car racer version available without lock, frame lock. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. However, that I haven't played it on many systems, but every system I played it on, it has been really, really good. I've only played it on the Mega and the, and the C64. But it's a little bit too quiet. The game needs a little bit more sound effects or more music. But it plays really well. It is. Hello to Harry Longbow. Good to see you. Hi there, Jamie. I'm doing fine. My latest collection hasn't grown up since last time. The last latest movie I watched was latest was Dolph Lindgren's Army of One. Not played that one. Not played that one. I think he is actually still acting, isn't he? Is always he retired? I'm really not sure. He's eight. Oh my lord. Is he behaving? Is he watching? <laughs> Hello, Jack. If you're here, good to see you. He's happy. He's got his oh, he's PlayStation Five. You spoil him, mate. You spoil him. But yeah, I'm really happy for you. Really happy for him. That's fantastic. I don't have one. I don't have a PlayStation Four either. I would love to in the future, but of course, need a lot of that. Really, really do. I'm happy as token. Yes, I'm still waiting for mine to arrive. I bought, um, from Strictly Limited Games, I bought Mega Tavacan and Super Tavacan, and like my NVIDIA and my Spectrum Next, I would really like them to arrive now. I really would. So, yeah, maybe. That Geek do impressive steering wheel reading, actually. Thank you, it's so difficult, but yes. Trying to read and do that at the same time is never an easy task. Same as doing my long plays. Trouble is, when I do long plays, I'm not reading chat, but I am reading statistics. It's crazy, really, what I tend to do, what I am doing, but yes, I enjoy it, I and mean, it's, it's a good way to socialise with awesome people. That's what I love about doing these streams, and just socialising with awesome friends, awesome buddies. Right, good old fog. However, this one's probably not as bad, because, well, 
yes, you do get hazards. The road seems about the same sort of size, but maybe a bit more generous of time this time. But it's laps this time. So, yeah, good old fog. I haven't seen any, um, yeah, Spectrum Next. I've not had any emails recently. I know the last one I got was quite a long email. I think that was everything thrown into one. But, yeah, I haven't actually finished reading it all. It's quite a lot. Um... But of course, when it arrives, I, I cannot wait. It's going to be really nice to play that. Because I, I, know, I know very, very little about the system. Not many fr friends in the other days had a Spectrum Next. So, of course, me not having one, the only time I could play it was going around through, through people's houses. But I didn't have a lot of games. But yeah, in terms of the loading times, how this loaded, I, I don't even know how to turn it on. So, I'm very rusty with it. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Talk about PlayStation 4 as a crime, is it? Hold on a minute. Yeah, it probably, it probably would make sense not to go for the PlayStation 4, just go straight, straight to the PlayStation 5. Uh, however, last week, or week before, I went to CX here in Ashford, and I saw three PlayStation 5s for sale. So people traded in them. Uh, I think it was about 600 quid they wanted for them. But yeah, to, to trade them in so early on, unless they desperately needed the money, or they didn't like it, it was quite surprising to see. But yeah, I don't even know how much they're going for now. I know Mr. Raw's got one. I'm very happy for him as well. Um, I don't think he's here yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to need a lot of money. I'm going to need some serious saving. Or maybe pay monthly. I'm not sure. But yeah, it'd be nice to get one. Because yes, I was doing really well in terms of the PlayStations. Buying them every single time. But yeah, once the PlayStation 4 came out, I was a little bit struggling for cash at that time. No, don't trade it. No, 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 no. There's only a few computers I've traded in the other days. Only because I really had to. But I wouldn't do it now. No way. I had a Sega Saturn. I traded that in. Uh, or maybe, no, actually, I think I sold that on eBay, actually. Uh, I had an original NES. In fact, I had two of those. Both of them I bought from Dixon's. And both of them I, just, I traded in. Or maybe, again, might be the same thing. I think one of them might have been Game or Electronics Boutique at the time. And one of them was eBay. But again, didn't have a lot of games at the time, but the Sega Saturn, I did, I had loads of games for that. I bought it from a friend from work, and yeah, that, that's, that's some really, really good games, including my favourite game, which was Sega Rally. But unfortunately, I needed the money back then. Uh, so yeah. Can't remember how much I sold it for, cannot remember how much I bought it for, but... Quite a lot of the games, ones that weren't really my sort of thing, weren't my cup of tea. But it'd be nice to get one again in the future, same as the NES, but then I have got a NES Mini, which works superbly well. Hello, J Duck. Good to see you. How you doing, buddy? Passing five is four fifty. Four fifty, is it? So it's more. It's it's more expensive to get it pre-owned in CEX than it is to buy it pre uh, brand new. That's crazy. Fog levels. Yes, I got a good story with the second game because yeah, that one got me for so many years, and I finally got past it in 2019. And Swedish House. I don't think he's here yet. Uh, was here. He flew all the way from Sweden to join me on the stream, and he was here to witness my first ever time getting past pea soup. That was a great moment. What a moment. Uh, sell one of yours. No, I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. I'm not selling anything, buddy. <laughs> Nothing is getting sold from me. Hello to Bad Sid. Good to see you. Like that name. Probably do a CD4 stream maybe next, or maybe the one after this. Let's tell you the same thing, baby. Maybe next week or one after. <laughs> no, I'd never sell my CD32. My first one, my dad got me, so I'm never going to sell that at any price. Uh, and the second one is just it's perfect nick, absolute perfect nick. So no, I'm not going to do that. Hello, Gumdio, good to see you. Hope you're well, the Greek dude. Good to see you. Token is great on the big screen on the PlayStation. On the PlayStation, what one? <laughs> uh, has it a remind? Rewind feature, yes, the, um, what do you call it, what is it, uh, Rare Replay had that. Uh, hello, Hound Doggy, thank you for commenting on my video recently. Hello everybody, good to see you. Uh, fog level is a bit like water levels on platform games, yes. Sort of level pegging, isn't it? Water in platform games, fog in driving games. Not a nice thing. We love your Saturn. What is your favourite Saturn game? Mine was uh, Sega Rally and probably Virtual Cop and probably Daytona, maybe? Not sure. Thank you very much, uh, Andrew Dubai. I appreciate that. I have to admit, I've been struggling to get on there myself. Uh, hello to Nathan, good to see you. Good to see you too. I was playing Resident Evil Gaiden, never heard of that one before, as Game Boy Emulator. Well, that's Game Boy, of course, I would never have known that. 
Dark Island is an original Game Boy and a Game Boy Color. Hope you're well, Gumdia. Haven't seen you for a while. Hope you're well. Can't wait for the Spectrum next. Me too. I cannot wait. Hope you're well, Daz. I placed in five, managed to grab one on the release day. I was lucky. Ten out of is it 10 out of 10? How would you rate it? Better than PlayStation 4? Panzer Dragon didn't have that on the Sega Saturn. I don't think so. That's your favourite, is it? Right, it's windy here. Right, we'll do a few more and we'll go on to the next game. Yeah, I didn't have that one, um, Gumdio. Yeah, there was, a, there was a large quantity of games I bought with it. And I think it was about 30, 40, something like that. But most of them weren't my thing. There was a few good driving games, a few good beat em ups. Platformers, there was a few. There was a few arcade games, but yeah, a lot of them weren't my thing. But I don't think Panzer Dragon was one of them, but I'm sure I've played that. I'm sure I have. I can't remember what version I played it on. Right, of course, now this is going to affect your driving a lot. <laughs> Hope you're well, Gumdio, by the way. Um, have to admit, I didn't know there was a Resident Evil on the Game Boy. That's, that's amazing. But then, like Mortal Kombat, which I said on a fairly recent stream, so many versions, so many different ports. Very, very fast, is it? I'm not surprised. All, that, all that's going on inside of that thing. How many games has Jack got? Uh, what, what's the last one he's... What's the last one he got? Has he got many? <laughs> probably. Is he into all that Minecraft, that sort of stuff? Fortnite? I'm guessing Fortnite probably isn't on the PlayStation 5. Not yet, anyway. However, I did see a little bit of footage... Well, not footage. I saw some screenshots the other day on Facebook of the new Ratchet and Clank and it looks absolutely sensational. I'm a big fan of Ratchet and Clank, but again, haven't bought any of them since the PlayStation 3 days. I've missed quite a lot. Which is a shame because I do like Ratchet and Clank, but it looks good. Hello, Robert Gray. Good to see you. How you doing, buddy? How is the family? Alberto... Albert Odyssey. I've not played that either. Hello, guys. Good to see you. Hello, Opto Exit. Good to see you. How you doing? <laughs> It's very windy here, and it's very rainy outside here, but on the game, it's windy. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of games on the list today, but some of them are going to be fairly long, and some of them will not be. But I've got a few requests already, but it's going to be a bit of a, a crazy stream in terms of how many are going to fit in, if I can fit them in. But this game is good. I think I do prefer two, because, you know, it's the nostalgia, it's the memories. But this one seems to be a lot more generous with the, t with the time. You do seem to get a lot more time here. Um... But again, like Jaguar, it's got some nice touches, nice additions to it, including different weather effects. Like 44 seconds is plenty. And what I like about these ones is you don't have to finish first, just get through the track. That's a nice thing. You've got it, have you? Is it good? I haven't seen footage, moving footage, only screenshots. But what? It looks really, really good. But then it's no surprise. Every one that comes out is more better than the one before. But I really, really do like them. I think the first one, is, it blew me away, the first one. I was so addicted to that when I first got that, I played straight through it really, really quickly as well. I think I spent the whole weekend playing that. Same as two. Um, who's been playing Spider What? That's uh, Spider What? Spider what Man. I think Mr. Vaughan's been playing that. He loves it, uh, which is amazing. And Fortnite, of course. He has Ratchet and Clank, which is fantastic. There's a game called Astro's Playroom. I've seen that as well. That came with it, then. I'm sure it did. Uh, well, Resident Evil Gaiden is kind of like RPG, I'll be rubbish at that then, <laughs> style, but horror and the story was very odd. Very fast, great learning times, these next-gen games which will come with time. Also, guys, let me know if there's any issues with the sound. I'm still having issues with every so often it goes out of sync or the sound will go all together. Because, of course, I am using the OSSC because uh, the sound went just before I started. Hopefully, with additional memory... And the PC running superbly well. It shouldn't happen. But let me know in the chat if it happens and I'll sort it out. Next question. Why not? It's a good answer, mate. Good answer. Good question. Good answer. <coughs> do one more track. Um, okay, we'll do the letters game. I think I'm up to, up to date with this. What are your top three ME games beginning with a letter E? I wasn't too much but two of these on today's stream. But I think we're up to E. I think it's right. I've wrote it down my pad. Yeah, that Astros, yeah, that was built in, wasn't it? You play some sort of robot. I mean, that, that controller alone looks, looks really expensive, really well made, and does all these fancy dancey things, all singing, all dancing. Right, don't fall off the edge, but I don't think you can this game. Now, it does seem to be scrolling a little bit 
funny on this one, but... Hello, Crisis is G. Good to see you. Hello to Belgium. And Baz just crept in there. Hello, Baz. I, I'll try and read that. That's going to be quite difficult to read while doing this. Trying to relax and watch your stream and work after UK Games Expo today. Oh, mate, I miss going to those. I miss going to those. The last one I went to was... 2019. Just before all this... Was it 20... I mean, 2020, actually. Very, very early 2020. But yeah, all this pandemic, yes. Completely, utterly ruined, destroyed conventions and expos. But the great they're starting to be put back in place. That is superb. Did you treat yourself? Pardon me. Right. Guys, a lot of tracks here. A lot of, uh, a lot of um, laps here. Another remake. So many remakes, isn't there? I, I can't keep up with them. New games, remakes, I can't keep up. How are you? Kite 6 g good to see you. I have to admit, I don't play Dick Sports very much. I played it the other day, because there's some new levels on R-Type Final 2, and of course I love it. Um, but yeah, I don't play modern very, very much. But I suppose Xbox One is retro now, isn't it, I suppose? Now the X is out. The Xbox X series, I think it is. We'll search up later. European Championships, European and European Championships. Oh, right, you're answering the question, Jamie. I've answered the question. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I've got that now, yes. There was a platforming game and a sort of a dungeon crawler sort of one. That's the one I've got. Very, very pricey, but it was a game I wanted. Love the artwork. Love the art style to it. And also, I love the contents of these boxes. It, of course, a lot of these older games had the, the, uh, the, the password books, the code books. And I like all that. Again, it's retro. I love it. And that one had a, a, quite an unusual one. You had to look through this sort of red uh, screen. And when you're looking through it, the words will actually show up. So if you're not looking through it, it's very difficult to read. Very difficult to see, which of course it stops you from copying it. But again, it's a nice touch. We had the those wheels. I think um, another world had it. Zool had it. I like all that. Eye of the Beholder. Exile. Eye of the Beholder again. I'm not good at those games, I have to admit. I'm not good at dungeon crawlers or RPGs. But I know a few people that are. Hello, hello, Leslie. Yeah, good to see you. Without the, well, I suppose yes, you can, you can do that. You can leave the leave the the out. That'd be fine. That'd be. It's the same like with uh, DVDs, isn't it? When I put my uh, DVDs in alphabetical order, I thought, do I include the as T? I thought, no, that's silly. So no, we don't include the. In game CDs, no. Because otherwise tea would be absolutely bombarded, wouldn't it? More teas than the amount of teas I drink in a week. Don't remember any, no? I'm sure they will come to you over the course of the stream. Hello, Daishi. Good to see you. Hello, Paul. How's life over in the USA? What's the weather like over in the USA? I have to admit, Daishi, I'm in two minds. There's one game I'm, I've got my eye on that is actually in USA on eBay. I'm very, very tempted to buy it. I messaged the eBay uh, yesterday to find out how much it's going to cost. I'm still tempted. I really am. But yeah, I don't tend to buy many games in the USA. In fact, it's very, 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 very rare. But I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to. Exile again. I'd have hold Elite. Do I prefer... Um, I do like Jaguar. I've got a box version of that as well. But I think Lotus 2 I do prefer. But take nothing away from Jaguar, it's superb. But I did play that in other days. Quite a lot of games I played after I got my 1200 through WHD Load. I couldn't afford all of them back in the older days, but yeah. It's amazing to this day. I'm still seeing games I've never seen before, but then I have been collecting games pretty much all my life. But yeah, I love it. I absolutely do love it. I don't know if I've played Epic. Or have I? Or have I? Maybe. Remind me what sort of game Epic is. Is that Ocean? I don't know if it is or not. I'm not sure. Hope everyone's well. I'm well. How are you? <laughs> I've got my fan here. It's very hot. But the last few days, it's not been too bad. It's absolutely chucking it down. It's raining cats and dogs. Not literally. But yeah, it really is. And it's going to be raining all weekend as well. I had planned to go out. But if it's going to be too wet, then I won't go out. As simple as that. I'll stay in and get some things down here. I've got a few things I can do here. Been busy upgrading my game room and bathroom. You don't hear that every day. A games room and a bathroom. So you're making more space, are you? Not putting games in the bathroom, are you? <laughs> I know you said he was running low on space. 
Yeah, you've got something I would definitely want to have. You've got a, a loft space, which you can use as a game room. I don't have anything like that. But maybe in the future I will, but I don't know when. It's a flight sim. I'm not, I'll be very good. I'm not good at flight sims, then. Probably a little bit better than flight sims. I am at RPGs and dungeon crawlers. Maybe. I'm more of a side scrolling shooter myself. Right. One more to go. Yeah, I, 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 do you know what? I, I've never seen any of the films. But I must get them. I want to try and get more 80s and 90s DVDs. Don't buy DVDs very much. In the older days, I was. And of course, VHS is. But now I'm living on my own. I, I don't tend to buy as many. Just try to save the money wherever I can. I spend more money on games than I do on films. I've got plenty of films to watch. But then a lot of them I have seen so many times. But if it's a classic, I'll always watch it again. Enlightenment, Druid 2, no, not played many E's it turns out Jamie, I like it of uh, Elf Mania, that is good, but yeah the art style, the sprites, the artwork is tremendous, but it could have been a little bit better in terms of the moves, the character moves, they could do a little bit more moves and special moves, that sort of thing. Hello Psychopath, good to see you. Hi All Elite was my best game, love it. Hope All is keeping safe. I'm good mate. I'm going on to the next game though. Emotion, I have that. That is US Gold. Harry Longbone, good to see you. Eye of Beholder, Elite and scroll up. I will do. Elite Eye of the Beholder in Exile. Hello my mate Jeff, how you doing buddy? Encounter and Elite are rather good on Amiga. Right, let's go on to another game now. I'm fairly happy with that, that was quite... <laughs> Doing that and reading at the same time, I'm fairly happy. But there we go, Lotus Free. Again, I would like to get myself a box version in the future. Right, um, so today, Lotus Free have played. I'm going to try and get another go at First Samurai. Now, I do have a box version here. I've never completed it, but the last time I played it, which was quite some time ago, I got absolutely ridiculously drunk. So the game didn't do a lot of justice. I didn't make, did give it a lot of justice. But I'm making good progress. I got to level 3 the other day. But we'll see how we do today. Uh, Zynab's. It, it, it's so much better on the CG4. I do apologize about the green screen. It is, it's okay on Amiga, but it could be so much better. It was it so much more potential, but we'll be playing it again today. One Step Beyond, I like the look of that game. That is basically the sequel to Pushover, and I'm loving it. Absolutely superb. I played it for the first time yesterday. It's brilliant. Gods, I've left the, no, I haven't. Gods is another game which I would like to finish, but again, it's long. If Steve Boy is going to join, maybe we'll play it. Um... Hello to Cine Steam, I just saw you there. We're also going to play ATR, which is there as well, and a bit of Potter X. Again, I would like to try and finish it on live stream. So, a lot to see, a lot to do. We'll see how we do. Elite Ixlon and Evil Garden for you. I don't know Evil Garden. I don't know that one. Yes, Gods. We'll see Gods next. A little bit of Gods next, why not? Yeah, this stream is a bit of everything. A bit of shoot 'em up, a bit of platforming, a bit of driving. Um... But yeah, I, again, a lot of these games I've been playing recently, I am making some good progress on the ones that I haven't finished before. And Gods is one of those, but again, I'm making progress. Same as, uh, um, Blood Money. Got to the last level of Blood Money, without cheats, and that was just superb. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm definitely making good progress. Into the Wonderful, yes. Paul M, good to see you. <laughs> Do you know what, I had to check there, because my brother's called Paul as well. It was my, my brother, brother on stream. Zedon 2 Mega Blast is so cool, it is, I love it. That was the first ever game, I've said it many, many times in the past. That was how I found the Commodore Amiga, it was the first game I saw on the Commodore Amiga. That was the game that made us want the Amiga so badly, and we got it in 1989, Boxing Day, the best Christmas ever. And uh, it's an absolutely amazing game, it is superb to this day. I know a lot of people don't like it, it's not to everyone's tastes. But it, t it just ticks all the right boxes for me. It really does. And of course, it's the Bidback Brothers. Say no more. And so is this. Say no more. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you're well, Paul Wem. Yeah, I had to check that. I thought, I thought my brother was on the stream. Uh, you should stream Blood Money. It will cheer you up. Maybe in the future. Yes, I would like to. I will do it one day. I will. Where's Stevie Boy? This is his favourite game. Um, I wore my God's T-shirt to yours. You did indeed. It's superb. I need to get one of those. I've got the Big Mad Brothers logo shirt. Um, I've got a Speedball Brutal Deluxe shirt, which we got from an expo. 
Yeah, I've not bought any gaming t-shirts for a while. In fact, I need to make some Walgreens Games shirts with a new logo. Magic Pockets, again, I've got a box version over there. I'm going to leave it over there, because otherwise it's going to be bombarded with boxes. <laughs> but yes, I'm quite a games collector. I've been collecting for years. But yeah, Magic Pockets is, again, a, a good game, but I've never finished it. It's long. God to the great current gen. Do you know what, my mate Jeff, I saw it. And I still don't know to this day whether I want to buy it or not. It's, it's not that expensive. But I don't know if I like the new look of it. I like the old start style, and of course I included that. And it seems to run a little bit more differently, a little bit more smoothly, um, a bit more faster. But I don't know if I like the new look of it. I just don't know. It's, it's not, I'm not sure. But it's exactly the same with Speedball 2. There was a, a, it was released on the Xbox 360. And again, you can switch between retro and modern. And the modern look of it, I really didn't like it. So, Sensible Soccer. There was also a remake on Xbox 360 of Sensible Soccer. Again, I prefer the way it used to look. So again, take nothing away from the way it looks. But I always do prefer to go on the, uh, the old style. <laughs> it's the way we remember it, isn't it? So there you go, that's the furthest I've got. That was my score. That was quite some time ago, about three months ago. Pods, yes. Do you know what? I've not heard the remake music. Is it that is it bad, is it? Um Hope you're well psychopath, by the way. And Lesnar, hope you're well too. Played it a lot. I love Ira, I didn't care too much about the graphics of Elvira. The graphics of Elvira. Oh right, I see what you mean. Um, let's all be grateful it's not the God's remake. No, I wouldn't do that on stream. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, it's good in old and new mode. Is it, is it right in mode, is it? New mode? Maybe one day I'll try it, but not on stream. I've got to buy it first. Right, I'm going to have a drink. Um, put that down there. I've actually managed to drink my tea without letting it go cold this time. I'm not going to go for beer yet. Not yet. A bit too early. Uh, pardon me, but I shouldn't, pardon me, I shouldn't get drunk on that. Shouldn't. Right. Super. Now, again, a long game. <clears throat> Nine times out of ten when I play this, I do get far. So I probably won't play it for a long period of time. Because otherwise it'll take up all the stream. I have not enough time to play all these other games. Right. Um, lid. The remake music tries to copy the original but fails, yeah? It's like Agony. There was a, a demo, wasn't it, of the new Agony. I I again, I don't know if it's my thing. I'm not sure. I like the originals too much. That's my thing. Right. I did play the NES version. Sorry, SNES version of this on Antstream. Uh, about three weeks ago. Again, it's okay. But again, it's two-button. I don't like this game on a two-button joy uh, joystick or controller in this case. Um... But also, your character was purple, and it also it runs very fast. But yeah, the purple outfit didn't really suit it. Again, it's, you're not used to seeing it like that. This is the look I'm, I'm, it's, I've known to see him like, you know, but then all of a sudden you see him in a purple outfit and running very fast by using a two-button controller. I mean, it's good, but this is the ultimate, I think. It always will be. Always has been. What Amiga have I got? I've got two Amiga 500s, two CD32s, and a 1200. This is on the 1200. And I've said it before, I'd love to get a camera on the ceiling because I can't really sort of show the camera my Amigas without slodging the look of the string. But yeah, this is the 1200. And it has had a little bit of repair itself. My, my disk drive wasn't working, so it had to be taken apart. Anthony Jordan from Right Retro Gaming, or should we say the old Right Retro Gaming, came over. Good to see him, and he also he fixed my Amiga for me. So yeah, took it apart, fixed it for me, and that was working like a treat. It's amazing how dusty these disk drives get. Emmings, you can go like that. You can go like that, that's fine. <laughs> We've got a question on puzzle games later on today anyway, so yeah, you can answer that. Now even though this is, this is, again, it's one of these games, you know, all this... I'm always finding out new secrets, secrets I didn't know about before, always. Yes, there are a few secrets, and yeah, in the other days, I didn't know about them. But yes, the more you play it, you sort of stumble across these things you didn't know in the past. Quite surprising, really, like shortcuts, that sort of thing. Yes, if I know, remember rightly, it's here. Yes. 
B -b pow Yes. <laughs> the blank bricks. No, I don't know anything about blank bricks. What's blank bricks? Have I gone past it? Um, just missed the L. No, it's, it's fine, mate. No problem at all. I'll allow it. I'm a nice guy. I'll allow it. It's fine. How are we doing for viewers, people? I'm not using Streamlabs, of course. I don't know how up there. It doesn't tell me. How are we doing for viewers? Um... Yeah, Paul M, have you got any Amigas in your collection? Are you a collector? Just look for them on the walls. Oh, and oh yes, I know about those. Yes, the, 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 the switches on the wall. Yes, I know about those. But on this particular screen, I don't know. There's one up there, which I have tried to get in the, in the past. But I keep falling to my death. I don't want to die at this early stage. 39, thank you. Almost 40. Thank you very much. Um... Gumjo, how far have you got? Have you got far in this? So, what do you want to do at the weekend? Providing the weather holds out. Question is, Jamie, how many levels do I do? Hello, to Celtic Knight. Good to see you. How are you feeling, buddy? Hope you're all right. How's life treating you? You only missed one game so far. You see 46. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. You're working. Nah. But you got Sunday off, right? I think that's right. That's one thing I do not miss, and that's working weekends. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm really, I was really, I was tickled pink with that. Yeah, the video's done very well. In fact, it's done better than my last long play I did. Ah! You love your F F1, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, my mum and stepdad watched a lot of that as well. Are you working Sunday? Oh, okay, so you're off, you're off tomorrow, right? <laughs> Hopefully you've got one day off, at least. Right, let's go and get that. I'm good, mate. I'm alright. I'm alright. Thanks for asking. A bit tired. No surprise, though. I got home from work today, and I'm on the early shift, and I was fine. I was playing a few games, and all of a sudden the tiredness just hit me like a ton of bricks. It really did. And I had to have a nap. I was only planning to have about half an hour's nap. It turned into about two hours. So I got a little bit behind preparing for the stream. Boom Boom Pow! Jamie, you can turn this one up a little bit because it's got no in-game music. I'd like to hear those Boom Boom Pows. There we go. Um, my next week off is August. Which is not far away. It's my birthday in that week. So I like to have a week off for my birthday. My little treat for myself. Won't be going anywhere, but I'm sure I'll try and fit in some day out vlogs if I can. Sure I can fit something in. Sure I can do something. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, mate. Thank you. Hope you are too. Uh, no time off in the summer, Rusty James. Yeah, Robert Gray, I hope you're here, buddy. I hope you're okay. What are you doing this weekend? Are you resting? Are you playing some games? <laughs> I know gaming night is normally for a Friday for you. Hope you're playing some games. Probably a Yakuza game, I expect. You've got so much sealed things, haven't you? My lord. But apparently they're going for quite a lot of money now. Which is no surprise, it's retro. Why not? I mean, my fixing skills isn't superb. It never will be, it never has been. But I'm, I'm making good progress. It's a simple fix for many, many people. But with someone with very little skills and not a lot of experience, and you fix it, I was really, really pleased. Really happy. Bear in mind, it's something I've owned pretty much all my life. And that's not far off being the truth. I can't remember when exactly I got it, but it was definitely mid to late 80s. So I was incredibly young when I got it. Jamie, watch that energy bar. That'd be going for absolutely stupid money, Heath. That will be. Right. And of course you can get energy, but not all the time. And again, you've got to try and remember where all the hazards are, where all the secrets are. Don't know all of them. The second world, it, it, again, that's the one I need to master because there's so many areas where you can so easily fall to your death. And you don't want to have a bad run on a level like that, a world like that. There's one there, but I think I'll leave it. Um, we get so many weapons in this game. The trouble is, some weapons will cancel out others. But again, like all the Big Mac Brothers games, they all cost a very expensive price. I had a feeling more people want to see more of those. 
I'm so, I've, got, I've got one more thing I would like to fix. Yes. Who knows what the future may hold? Not quite to the same league as 4X and Get It UK with their fixing. Yeah, it's not it's not greatest, is it? I have to admit, I didn't notice in the other days, but it's, it's not just on stream. It's the same on my TV as well. But yeah, I won't play it for a long period of time. £500. My lord. But yeah, a lot of people didn't like the scrolling this game. Or the drop... There's not... I suppose there are some frames missing, I suppose. But yes, I see it too. But the, but the graphics are superb. Take nothing away from the graphics. But yeah, even using the OSSC, it doesn't solve all the problems. But... Yeah. <laughs> I can't solve it all. But we are using the same um, resolution. How often do you stream, by the way? I haven't been here in a while. I Well, I used to do it once every week. But now it's once every two weeks because I'm doing shift work. And the problem I had was the late shift. It's a very difficult task to try and do a late shift and then get home and do, get ready for a stream. So it's quite it's quite exhausting. So yeah, I'm doing it once every two weeks. So basically I'm streaming on the early shift. But I'm thinking about doing some more streams on Twitch. Not all the time, just a, sort of a random one here and there. Again, not as long as I do on the YouTube ones. But I just think I need to do something on there at least. There's a, I keep saying it on my outros and intros, that sort of thing. But I'm not actually using it. So maybe I need to use it. They do, they do, they really are good. They really are good. And challenging. I had another attempt at Xenon 2 about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Again, the same boss got me, the second to last boss. Keeps getting me every single time. But the only Bitmap Brothers game I finished is Speedball 2, I suppose. They're quite long games, all of them are. Not a good place to die. Yeah, my streams, yeah, they used to be every week, but it <laughs> got a little bit too much. But they could be any time, two, three or four hours, sometimes more. But yeah, I do enjoy them, I really do. Maybe in the future, if my job's change, my hours change, my shifts change, maybe I'll go back to the old ways. But at the moment of time, it's working for me. I think some people are struggling to adapt to it because, of course, they've got their own jobs, their own lives, and they probably couldn't do it the way I do it now. There's a few people that say that... that they were always on the wrong shift now, what when I start, so yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll just do this well, we'll go on to another game. Uh, any more questions? Questions, 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 questions. Okay, we'll do this one, why not? Uh, what was the first and last Amiga boxes you bought? And we'll, we'll say with your own money, <laughs> not bought by your parents. It saves you from burning out, it's, that's true, that is true. But also, yeah, if you're streaming loads on YouTube, then yes, I don't think that actually works well for your channel. Or oh, it's algorithm, apparently, I heard. But yeah, I'm not going to stop doing it. But, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a lot to think about. It really, really is. I know some channels will just, just click the button and go for it. But yeah, I like to do a little bit of preparation for it. So I like to sort of put games in place. Outros, intros. And I change my outro every week. And, uh... Of course, it's not looking as great as other channels, of course, but I don't want it all singing and dancing. Maybe in the future we'll go a little bit more advanced. Who knows? But if it works, it works. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Thank you so much. That is really nice of you. Thank you. So the last game <laughs> says uh, Street F uh, Shadow Beast 3. Yes, superb. I saw your box on your stream, yeah. That was your last. Can you remember your first? I know you've got quite a lot going on in your... Uh, Attic or loft. Uh, first token two. What a f what a first purchase that was. Last was Operation Stealth. I saw it on Discord. Yes. Uh, my first, which of course you know anyway, was Shadow of the Beast. Got it in 1990, January 1990. We bought it with our Christmas money after getting our Amiga in 1989. Blew us away. Absolutely blew us away. It was superb. It still is. What? My second favorite game of all time. Thank you, Bad Sid, for the for the donation. It's really nice of you. Where are you from, by the way? 
Look at the currency there. I should know. I should know the answer to this. Are you Norway, Sweden? Am I right? It's got to be one of those. Has to be. Hello, Dennis UK. Good to see you. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Last was Beast Free. That's that's crazy. Two people said it's same, exactly the same game. I love Beast Free, but Beast One is always going to be my favourite. Always will be. So nice to see you. So nice to see you, CB Heads. Yes, I was a CB Head. I was Sweden. Okay, I was right. Sort of. <laughs> yes, got lots of awesome people in Sweden. Yes, I was, Mr. Raw. I, I, I had to. However, I only planned to have half an hour. I ended up being two hours. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not asleep now. I'm alright now. <laughs> okay, Mr. Raw, do you want to answer that question? Hunter, was your last game for Otto Epsic? Token. It came from the desert. That's one I would love to get in my collection. Franco, the crazy revenge only. In Poland, there was no original games in 1995. Last was Beast 3. Rusty James. Hello, Kurt. Good to see you. What was that? What was that? Pardon me. <clears throat> yeah. I've never seen that one before. I took too long. <coughs> no, we're going for the big super duper jump. Last. Yes, I saw on Discord. Yeah, that's amazing box. That is amazing. Never played it though. But it's quite a lot of those, isn't there? I didn't quite, how many dis how many discs has it got? I didn't quite see how many you had. Oh, that was quite a few. Uh I still can't fat horn how you beat the toe on the <laughs> I know it mate. I've I've actually beaten it since then. I've actually done it with seven lives. Um yeah, that was my best ever attempt. It was super. Everything just, just fell nicely into place that time. Yeah, it was brilliant. It wasn't on stream, but I did record the end of it on my phone. Because, yeah, I was tickled pink. That was the best ever attempt. And that's going to take some beating. Yeah. Sometimes I play it and I get really, really far pretty much every single time, but I've never played it that well before. Normally I get there with, with three, two... One, maybe, but yeah, nine times out of ten, I, I finish it with the last life, and yeah, always goes down to the wire. Um, but thank you for watching that, uh, thank you for watching that stream back, I appreciate that. That was quite some time ago now, wasn't it? Uh, Chris, hope you're well. Uh, great to see you are back online with a PC, Get Jamie. Was it an easy fix? Not for me, I didn't do it. <laughs> Rex did it. Good old Wes, yeah, superb dude. I, well, I was tempted to have a go, but I'd still rather leave it for the experts. I mean, what what Wes did, he didn't just do that, he did other things as well. He we went through all the um, the BIOS, did some changes on there, got rid of a few things I don't need, uh, stopped a few things from happening, there's a few things that were kept coming up onto the screen every time I was rebooting the screen, and uh, updates that kept happening, and he, he sorted all that out for me. Just make it run a bit more smoothly, and uh, it got my memory working as well because I put in additional memory. Uh, but for some reason, there was an, uh, something wrong with the BIOS, and it wasn't picking it up. So there was memory there that was not being used because it's, for some reason I don't know why it happened, but he fixed it. Um, but now it's got all the memory. So when it comes to editing, I haven't done many, many big edits so far since it's been fixed. It should not slow down anymore. That atmosphere video I did was quite a huge video, and. After about a 40 minute mark, it was really struggling. I had to sort of keep rendering it to try and reduce the size of that file. It was just really, really slowing down. Eight discs, that's a lot, isn't it? Alien Breed, and last was NVIDIA. You got it, have you got it? Have you, we haven't got ours yet. Ah, oh, mate. Have you, actually got, have you actually got the box, have you? Ah, first game I cannot remember. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Um. First New Zealand story and last was Untouchables. Rusty James, Battle Squadron, and R Type. I'm superbly happy with that. First was original James Pond, the last was Envira and the Lord of Infinity. Sweet, I will check in again another time then. I have been a bit uh, AFK from the Mega world since I moved houses. Well, I, I don't just do streams, I do other videos as well, but yeah, I do. But I appreciate that. It's really, really nice to see you. Oh, you haven't got the box yet. However, Mr. Andrew DeBlind, I don't know if you've got the email, but it's looking likely now that our gym power boxes, we might get them after all. I got an email, and uh, they're actually in stock now. So, yeah, fingers crossed, we should get it. 
And I hope so, because it's part of the Kickstarter. It'd be nice to have. I know they had a lot of problems with the entire project, but we're getting there slowly. Um, I have played it, the, the CD, and I, I thought it was going to be quite a lot of bugs, but it wasn't one single bug. I think it, was, it was really, really running fairly smoothly. But it just needs that box to finish it off. First was Silkworm, I think. Last was Civilization. Have you got many box versions in your collection, Gumdia? Suspect the last was um, Alien Breed 3D 2. First, no idea. Likely a budget game. Have you got Chucky Egg as a box version? <laughs> Probably more of a case version, isn't it? More than a box. Um, okay. Right, I've got enough of a game in a moment. Hope you are well, Mr. Or, by the way. Good to see you. Thank you, Carson Dorman. That's so kind of you. I don't like these bullets. Not a fan of these ones. They follow you and they're slow moving bullets. Um, now, if you jump from here, you can. Let's go for it. <laughs> sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll go with that. Thank you so much, for, that's really nice of you. What I don't like about this is the platform moves underneath you. You should stick your feet. <laughs> First, uh, Thunder Hawk by Core Design. Core Design did so many games, didn't they? Three months ago, really. Collected old PC, CG4, and me games. Came from the desert, it's £150. It's, it's going to get higher all the time, isn't it? Absolutely crazy money. However, it's, I still want to get it. But when, I don't know. I know a few people have got it. Hey, Rusty James. But yeah, I do apologize about the scrolling on this one, yeah. I see it too. Well, I think this is the boss on this one. I'm sure it is. Thank you very, thank you very much, Andrew Shabalain. You're a diamond. I just put... I had two burgers. Yep. I just put them in the pan, fried them, put them in some buns. <laughs> and had that. That's all I had. Last month was a bit of a struggle, it really was. I was buying really, 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 really cheap food because, of course, my furlough pay was so low. But I got through it. Got paid on Wednesday, so I'm happy now, so... It was a bit of a struggle. Oh, poo! Didn't want to do that. Oh. How much did you pay for it, Rusty James? Do you remember? I bet it wasn't £150. You have Chucky A on Specky only, but it was only part of a 10 Commodore or Computer Kit compilation. That's the best version, isn't it? I'm, maybe you're saying? I'm sure you said that. It's Spectrum. Of course you're going to say that. And I think I know what ones you're going to say is your least favourite. Probably me, I expect. <clears throat> you are Rusty. He's got Rusty name, yes. But he's not Rusty. <laughs> but he is an awesome dude, though. JB, have you got... You haven't dropped down the platform yet, have you? We haven't, have we? No, don't forget that. We've got to take a big leap of faith. <laughs> um, War in the Gulf about three weeks ago was... Uh, oh, Mr. Um, Daishi, did you manage to solve those boxes with the creases? Did you manage to risk it for a biscuit? Hopefully you did. And hopefully it was okay. Hopefully you managed to fix the problems. That's the way to do it, JB! Here we go. Right, through the door. Again, falling from great height is not a good thing either. Right, boss battle is not too far away. Oh my lord, I'm here for the... Th That's fine. Trouble is, half the time you can't see what's below you. So you don't know if it's a big long drop, or a spike down there, or an enemy down there. Which is why so many times I die on the second world. No, oh, don't set it. Well, set it to me. I'll buy it off you. <laughs> Can I have it, please? No, he won't do that. Of course he won't. No. We don't sell our collections. We keep buying them. We we build on them. Right. Let's, let's game in a moment, people. Again, it's superb. Energy's not very good, though. But at least on this one, you can actually see the enemy's energy bar. Like a beaker of... Beaker of liquid, isn't it? 
Again, the first time we saw this the other day, we were absolutely gobsmacked. I mean, it's just... After seeing Zenon 2, our mouse has completely utterly dropped. We've never seen graphics like this before. You know, we were absolutely astounded by it. And I believe a friend brought this one over. There's quite a few friends we had. Mostly my brother's friends that owned Amigas. And a few times, they came round, brought some games over. And this was one of them. And again, it was just... It was a wow factor. What graphics. What an achievement. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Boop pow! Have some of that. Thank you for donations, guys. You're too kind. Thank you so much. Well, we've got another game now. Final boom, though. You see that? That's my memories. I bought it with loads of other stuff and sold what I didn't want and kept desert. Good. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Right, we've got another game now. So far, left the boxes in the condition they were. Nothing is so bad, so I would rather... Yeah, it's... it's, 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 it's in, my, in my personal opinion, it's, it's too risky. It's, it's, it's a risk I'm not really willing to take, unless I'm really, really confident. But I'm not confident, so I... But then, not many of mine are bad. Most of them are good. But again, I don't buy them as bad versions. That's why I go for really expensive ones. My lord. Right. Here we go, go for the door. Short and sweet, I guess. We've been streaming for an hour already. What do we get? Got three lives. There was one silly death. But there we go. Um, I could never manage to do the bit in War of the Gulf, where you need an ambush, three groups of enemy at one time. I was enjoying it to the point, and the intro was great. Gulf of War the Gulf. I don't know what that sort of, what sort of genre is that. Again, it's probably going to be one I'm not particularly good at. Right, okay, we've got another game. Uh, what do you want to see? Do you want to see First Samurai, Zynaps, One Step Beyond. Oh, Little Tiny Slug, we'll play that as well. Forgot about that one. Little Tiny Slug, or ATR, or Product X. So I mean, there's a lot on the list. Blimey. Uh, okay. Um, Alright. Jamie put lots on the list today. Thank you, Psychopath. Uh, just waiting on my Sega Saturn grey console, Japanese import, to hear... Oh my god, you're buying loads at the moment, aren't you? How much was that? Is it sealed? Probably, knowing you. I have Chucky Egg on Specky. The ten hits. Ah. <laughs> I'll put it on the, I'll play it at the end. <laughs> Go try and get through what I put on the list first. Um, well, I'll just pick one at random. I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, let's go for... Let's go for a puzzle game. Let's go for a puzzle in. I'll try and I'll try and fit it in. Yeah, I'll try and fit it in. I'll try my best. War of the Golf is a dark, d dark tank simulator. You can control four at once via split screen. Is it looking out that way? Is it a is it a bird's eye view? I have played a. F um, there was one I played ages ago, but it was like a bird's eye view. But again, it's split screen. But I think it's yeah. You're, you're against each other. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I, can't, I don't know. Can't even remember its name. No idea. It's first person. I think I know what one you mean then. I think I know what one you mean. Uh, one step beyond. It's boxed and not sealed. Paid 170, Jamie. Okay. Hmm. Can't wait. Why not, mate? Why not? We live once. We must treat ourselves. Why not? <laughs> I don't think I know many as, as many people. And I've got so many sealed stuff as you. I mean, you've got a sealed PlayStation 1. You've got a sealed Caveman 80s electronic game, which... Where did you get that? Did you get it in the old, old days? Yes, it is. It is. I love it. I really like it. I played it for the first time yesterday. I'm really liking it. It's it's sort of the same sort of lines. Um, it's a hundred level, and again, I would like to long play it, but like I like pushover. It's going to take a long time. But again, it's good old Colin Curley. I, I think it's a superb character. But no ant in that. Gi ant is not featuring this one. This is his doing. This is his go. Uh, I haven't had time to sit down and play it yet, as I have my granddaughter, who lives in Tennessee, visiting me in Florida. I'd love to go back to Florida. I'm going to collect all three games. 
Last time I went to Florida was 1993, I think. It was either 93 or 94. We went to Miami the first... No, the first time... Yeah, it was Florida, but we stayed in Orlando. The second time we went to Miami, and then we drove... We, we stayed there for a couple of days, and we drove back up to... Uh, up to Orlando and did a few more parks. But it, it's superb, I love it. I just want to go back to America again. You've had it 15 years, you still not opened it. That takes some doing, buddy. 170, that's not a bad price, really. It, okay, it's a chunk of change. But you, what you're getting, I think, is a fairly decent price. Mm. I have no idea what my dad or mum paid in the other days on it. It was nowhere near that. It was probably about 20 quid, but it was definitely Toys R Us. <laughs> right, so this is a puzzle game. So we'll go for a puzzle game question. Where is it? There we go. What are your top five puzzle games? It doesn't have to be Amiga. It could be whatever you want. First time on stream, it's exactly comes here. I try and sort of fit into new ones wherever I can. I love it. I think it's really, really good. Right, it's time though. It is time. So what you're trying to do is basically you've got to stand on all the platforms, but like pushover, the last one has to be the one otherwise you fail. In this case, it's a pack of quavers. He goes cr crazy for quavers. So once you step onto the platform and jump off of it, it will disappear. But of course, again, like pushover, some do other things. So I'm still trying to learn. Um, now you can do a small jump and a big jump. Now, like again, like pushover, you have these tokens. Now you can use the token which will save your progress before you died. But there's always a risk of doing it that way because of course you're using up time that way. I just find it's best if you die to start again. But this game, it's just unlimited life basically. You just keep going until you can't do it anymore, you get stuck. Hello to Ant-Man, good to see you. It was in Florida in 2008, it was great, nice country. Was it an event you went to or anything like that? It was just a holiday abroad. The thing with collecting stuff, Paul was going to take over the... Tr that is, that's a good point, that is a good point. I'm, I don't want to think about that, but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, not a nice way to look at it, but it's true though, isn't it? It is definitely true. Yeah, unfortunately, one day, I will die. <laughs> not yet though, I'm too young to die. How oh, I'm going to be 39 next month. But yes, whoever has it next, please look after my collection. Right, let's have a look at your answers. Puzzle games. Does that be play Amiga? It can be whatever you want. Millie and Molly, Boxy Moxie, Spherical, Luma All CC4, Living's 2 on Amiga. Comes with free games, also just need to buy a step down. How are you, Ant Man? One step beyond first on stream. Had it 15 years, I've had that twice, Jamie. Right, okay, it's times. It's times. So yes, you hold the fire button down, he does a big, big jump, but you can't do a really, really super jump. So, you can jump basically at any angle. Some of them will hurl you into the air into the direction it's facing, but again, only one touch on each platform. The last some that puts them back in place, some takes them away, some does it at different angles, and some go in and out, and they look, they look really fancy, fancy stuff. Pardon me. Well done, it looked like that was a doddle, you gain a token. And again, like pushover, I've said it so many times already, we're doing this for Quavers. Who is a fan of Quavers? I think most people probably are. I love the music to it as well. <laughs> Mate, go for it. Go for it. Dude, just go, 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 go crazy. Why not? What feed does it come through? Uh, Gumdio, Puzzle Bubble 3, Puzzle Bubble 2, Super Twin Twist, Money, Puzzle Exchange. I've done that one. And Lemmings. You've got to have Lemmings in there, haven't you? Got to. Do you want any more on your want list? Want list? What do you mean? What, what me? <laughs> me? There's loads of games I want, of course. Absolutely so. Right, so we need to jump down here. Now we've got to hold the fire button down and jump over one platform. So hold the fire button down and jump. You do a two space jump. No. Is it two, yeah, two space jump. Do it without the fire button down and you kill yourself, Jamie. No, don't use a token, Jamie. Don't use a token. Restart. So, down. Hold fire button down. Jump. Jump. 
Carson Dorma, good to see you. But again, it's time. That's the problem. It's timed. And take a big jump down to there. We're hurling to the air. Not like that, though. Um, push over, logical, jumping Jackson, Candy Crush. Played all of those. I don't have Candy Crush, though. I used to. I got too addicted to it. I, was, I just actually deleted it. Right. We need a little jump, Jamie. No, we don't. We do it like that. You can jump at any angle. But you can also get stuck. You can't jump directly up into the air. Only at an angle. Or forward or downly down and down. But anyway, there was a doddle. Push over, I love it. Logical, I love it. Strum injection, I love it. And Candy Crush. I like it. But like I say, I got too addicted to it, so I deleted it. <laughs> I get asking for money. I know you don't have to do it, but the trouble is, a lot of people did. That's when a free game can turn into quite an expensive game. Uh, do you know that the direct developer of Logical now works in North Korea? I didn't know that. However, Logical is superb. I was so addicted to that. And then the demo I had in Yodel Days. It, I was blown away. I love the music too. It was superb. I've actually got two box versions of that. The music is sensational. It's Chris Hell's best, so no more. Populous 2 Data Disc Expander, the challenge games were sealed and I got, but I made sure that didn't last long. Oh, poo! That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> That's so wrong, Jamie. That's so wrong. Big jump. Big jump first. Little jump down. And then you've got to let nature take its course. You do a little lot in this one. That platform is going in and out, shaking all about. There we go. Rewarded with Vanga Quavers. Tetris, my wife, only plays Candy Crush. Doesn't play anything else. I bet she's a, a real pro at it now. She's an expert, isn't she? She's a Candy Crush pro. No, that is interesting. I really love that game. He is doing their Carson Dormant. I didn't know that though about the uh, North Korea. I didn't know that. I think the furthest I got in all the days, I believe, uh, was I think it was 68 or 78, something like that. I know I'm fairly close. But it's 100 levels. But again, I'm, sorry, I'm very gassy here. I'm trying not to burp though. Um, I wrote them down in my little book. I don't know where the book is. I've lost it somewhere. It's in here, this house somewhere. Jamie, if you keep drinking too much, you'll be burping like this over tomorrow. Cyber Trooper, Dynamite Dex, Die Hard Arcade, and Assault Suit Linos 2. Are that all the ones that are built in, is it? Or is there not, um. All your puzzle games, maybe. We've got a box version of Logical. High five. Dynamite Dex, yeah, I think I've played that. Yeah, I must play that on a future stream, yes. Like I'm doing a set earlier on today. It's, it's, it's good to sort of add games I've not done before on streams. Right, now, this one is a bit confusing because some of them will actually take them away and some of them put them in place. Right, so that's fine. So that will actually put those back in place, which allows you to get, get it out of the way and stay alive. So there, so there. But you've got to do it in the time limit, otherwise it doesn't count. The time will keep going, but of course you just won't move on. Unless you use a token, I think you might be able to do it that way. Got my current Saturn 11 years ago for £50 and it was boxed, but no inserts, Model 1, Black Standard 1. Yeah, several K something. There we go, oh, not too far away from our first bag of Quavers. Right, this one, basically what you're trying to do is you've got to hit those ones in the order. So, you need to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. We need to hit one first. So one, two, and to there. Uh, that will take it away, I think. Yes, it does. Oh, I know what to do. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Right, to there. Big jump to there. To there. Big jump to there. Little jump up to there, to the pal. Some of that. It's not in shot, Jamie. Bring it down a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. <sighs> um. So, King Arthur, after your latest purchases, what is next on the agenda? 
How long did it take for your two beans to arrive in the end? It came from the USA, right? It looks brilliant. It really does look good. I have played it on arcade, but only once. And again, it was an expo. But the Mega version is superb. I've by far played it the most of any other version. Because it's not very long. But I have got the arcade version on the PlayStation 2, which is a Midway Arcade's Treasures. And it's so long. It's a really, really long game. Got really, really far. I kept thinking, how much more is this game going to be going on for? It's a version that just keeps on giving. <laughs> mm. Just make sure it doesn't fluff over. Hello to SQ Ron, good to see you. Uh, the three games it comes with it look interesting. Uh, mix something up. It was not the logical developer. Sorry for the misinformation. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. How you doing? SQ Ron, good to see you. Played one step beyond. I'm not talking about the madness. Um, right, so these ones, of course, it's going to be time related. There's a delay. So you land on it, then you get to go off it, get back to it, and while you're doing a very, very quick time, it should stay in, in place long enough to get the job done. But again, the Cravers one has to be the last one you touch. Little jump. There we go. I love the animation. It's a comical little dude, isn't it? I remember the old school adverts. Uh, groovy music. I love it, isn't it? It's superb. At least play Madness. It was. I was so upset with this game. Really, was you? It, yes, these sort of games can really infuriate people. But yeah, give it a little bit of time. Yeah, it's like Pushover. I, I've always loved that game. But the, the very early point, I didn't know what I was doing. I was getting a major, major tangle, major twist. It's all about learning what ones do what, and uh, eventually uh, you, you get there. <laughs> It'll be like lemmings, I suppose. Right. But yeah, that pushover long play I did, I spent all day. I literally got it done in a day. I started at about 10 o'clock in the morning and finished about 5 o'clock in the morning. It was crazy. Um, right, so this one, it's got an X. So of course, it's going to get rid of them like that, like that, like that. You, you get the idea. So... We got to do it in the right order, haven't we? So, uh, it's. And also, like pushover, you can't fall from too great of height. Was about to go to sleep, have to get up in the morning, but I thought I'd like. I'd... Mate, it's really nice of you to tune in, but mate, if you need to go to bed, no problem at all. It's great to see you. So, down to there. Um, so, there. Now, you can't jump up, I mean, like an angle. Um, that's wrong. That's wrong. I'm gonna die. Hello, Robert Cunningham. Good to see you. That's not the way to do it. <laughs> so you can use the password or the code, but it's no point. It's gonna take you back to a situation where you can't do it. So you might have just. Right, um. So there. Wrong as well. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Don't know. To there. To there. To there. It really does baffle your brain at times. It really does test you. Give it a bit of time, you'll be fine. There you go. Hope you're well, Robert. Good to see you. How you doing, buddy? Won't do many more, but let's try and get a, a play of Cravers at least. The best puzzle game I played was Um. PlayStation 1, I think, was called Intelligent Cube. I've got um, the next... No, I've got... What's it called? I know what you mean. Um, do you know, I can't even think what it's called. Oh, Crucial Final. Yeah, I've got that. Which is pretty much the same game, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Again, a simple idea. Again, some people might get bored of it, but some might be absolutely addicted to it, and I was addicted to it. I mean, it's a really nice game. I mean, yes, you can speed through it. Of course you can. You want to press the button, it speeds it up. But yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. However, I've got, I've got Intelligent Q on the PlayStation Classic. Right, so that will um, get rid of all of them. That's not right, is it? No. 
Ah, oh, hang on, hang on, whoa, 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 I've got it, 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 I've got it. To there, big jump to there. Down to there. To there. To there. And a huge jump up to there. What a mate, superb. Um, yeah, Tension Cube is superb, I love it. I see you played Lotus Free tonight. Yes, I have. Played it first. I played some custom tracks for a recent Lemon Amiga competition. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier today. I've never actually done one before. Not a custom track. Is it easy to do? Does it take long? My next Japanese game I'm after is Clockwork Nights. Believe it or not, mate, I've not heard that one before. Right, okay, so. Uh, you can see how we get to the exit. So I'm guessing we do that to there, there, there. You want that arrow to be the second to last one you touch. So there, to there. Pow! Have some of that. <laughs> I love it. I really love, love this game. This guy is going to be eating a lot of quavers today. Even more if I long play it. There you go, excellent, you've reached the Quaver Zone. Time for Colin Cody's favourite Quaver snack. They're curly, and he goes crazy for them. I never played Clockwork Night, but remember it well as an early game on Saturn. Oh, it's Saturn, is it? It's this, this Intelligent Cube and Crucial Final, I don't even know how long those games are. I'm guessing it's probably going to be really, really long. Really long. There was a game I've got called uh, Kuda World, which again, I was absolutely blown away by it. I was so addicted. It's got about 200 levels, maybe more. It's just insane amount of levels. All the old games normally had about a maximum of 100 most of the time. Apart from maybe the old one, like Lemmings, for example. But yeah, since since those days, it's not really 100 anymore. It's like, how many more can we add? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Imagine if you did all those levels, you wrote all those codes down. You'd have a book, wouldn't you? <laughs> right, what time is it, Jamie? We'll do a few more, we're going on again. So, Colin Curley is happy. He's got his first bag of quavers. However, he'd be a lot more happy if he had all of them. So, let's do a few more. But again, it's timed. Uh, now, you can jump down, you just can't jump up. To there. To there. Right, to there. Big jump to there. Small jump to there, which you put them back in place, which is what you want to do. To there. Big jump. Little jump. Little jump. Little jump. <laughs> little jump. Little jump. And jump up there. Very easy to make a mistake in this game. On the topic of Lotus on Epic Store, I recently got Horizon Chase, I've seen that, yeah, not played it though, it's free, it's a, it's a game similar to Lotus, and it's soundtrack by the same author, oh really, that's interesting, big expensive Kamaka at 85 plus, everything is expensive now, I didn't do it in time limit, it. Ah, oh. well we know what to do anyway, so down, down, there. yes, yeah, me, you got the time in it, especially when I'm trying to re-chat while doing it, so there, big jump. Yeah, Karushi is good. Yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep jumping for joy. Yes. Yes, I must do some more wide retro gaming. Hello, everybody. Um, must do some more PlayStation 1 streams. Yes, I got Karushi Final. I love it. It's superb. Again, it's a similar, simple idea. It's brilliant. Bringing a new meaning to the phrase Metal Block. Karushi Final dares you to test your intelligence against a higher power. Nine mind stretching stages, plus two players survival mode, 100 additional challenges, and a custom. Even that's custom. Puzzle Generator. Karushi Final is a supreme test of mental and physical agility. And I read that first time. Thank you, Anthony Jordan. Good to see you. And it was nice to see you the other day. Thank you for fixing my disk drive. <laughs> Thank you. But yes, uh, yes, I was playing a demo of that first. Yeah, yeah. And Retro Gaming, thank you for the beer as well. <laughs> yeah, um, 
Again, that demo I played loads. I think it was actually with demo one, or one of them anyway. I've got two of them. Jamie, good job of repairing that Tommy game. Thank you. Yes, I was very pleased. I was very pleased. Yes, it was a simple fix for many people, but when you, like I said earlier on today, with very little knowledge, with very little skills, I was, I was happy. I was a happy boy. Okay, so, pardon me. Thank you, Vi for Gaming. Um, to there. Um, big jump to there. Up to there. Down to there. There. For those who just joined in, this is one step beyond the sequel to Pushover. We're on the search for Quavers once again. Up there. Be quick. There we go. Oh, you can't jump up, can you, Jamie? No, you can't. Um... Ah! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Got it. I got it, I got it, got it. Right, so... To there, uh, to there, or have I? We'll find out soon enough. To there. We want more Jamie fixing videos. I'll try. It will give it, it will give me so much confidence, and that's what I need—a little bit of confidence. Right to there. Big jump. Little jump. Big jump up there. No, that's not right either. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it now. <laughs> got it. Whoop whoop. Nice one, Right Retro Gaming. And we want more. Hold on a minute. To there. Up to there. To there. He don't mind. He's still smiling. Look at that smile on his face. And why not? He's going crazy for quavers. Right. So we jump there to there. Then we wait for. There we go, I think that's right. No, it's not right. Oh, I don't believe it. Right, I got it, I got it. I've got it now. Right, hold on. Uh, testing the old brain box upstairs. Um, to there. It's got to be to there, isn't it? What is it? To there? I don't know. Amazing artists. Mr. Raw, yeah, it's still <laughs> good to see you, Mr. Raw. Hope you're well. What are you doing this weekend, mate? Still winning prizes. <laughs> With me? Um, that's not right, Jamie. I don't think this is right. We've just done exactly the same thing again. No. One more go. One more go. One more go. I think you did a great job fixing your game, Jamie. Thank you. It doesn't sound right, does it? We're just game fixing things. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that'd be the case? I don't know. This one's, I'm a bit stumped on this one. Um, I well, it came out after Pushover. Uh, 1993, 1994, I'm guessing here. I am guessing here. I don't think this is right. I've just done exactly the same thing again. Ah! Hold on. Brainwave. Brainwave! Got it! Got it! No, I haven't got it. We can't stand on. Stumped. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Try that. Hold on. Might be able. I don't know. To there. To there. To there. To there. I don't know. Time is ticking away though. Oh, Jamie, watch the chat. Use token. So there. Last go. Yes! Okay, we're there. We actually used a token that time. 
Still at my dad this, and the mountains, but going home tomorrow. How about you? Did you enjoy? Did you reload your battery? Reload well, in terms of sleeping? Yes, I did. Thank you. I was worn out, mate. I, it just it happened. It just it, it was like that. One minute I was wide awake, and all of a sudden I was just no. I've got to get to sleep. How about two hours was not the original plan. Now I know how you'd save it for a stream. No problem, mate. Did you put the smoke alarm up yet? <laughs> well, it's here. I'll do it this weekend. It's here. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Right Richard Game also gave me a new smoke alarm. <laughs> and thank you for fixing my Nez. He did a lot for me. Yeah, really, really nice guy. Thank you. It's nice, isn't it? He comes down to visit me and he fixes off my stuff. However, the Toby was my own doing. That was my own doing. Um... Right, the final one. What, I have one go, one go. So there, to there, we'll go to there. Again, we have the icon that will put them in place again. Um, to there. Are they gonna kill me? It's gonna kill me. Mate, I hope he's all, I hope your dad's well. I hope, hope, you, hope you're all well. I hope you all had a good time. Uh, right. To there. To there. To there. To there. Right. To there. Then we get off of it. Jump to there. To there. To there. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Maybe. If it's me too high for him, he's gonna die. Yeah, he's a dead meat. <laughs> a smoking alarm. No, it'll be about two minutes long. <laughs> right, got it. Got it. Right, restart. Final frontier, the final level. Final low. Right, to there. So yes, you can't fall from too great a height. Again, like GI Ant. Same thing. There, to there, to there, to there, up to there, to there, to there. And because that one's in no, because that's one in place. Oh, I'll use token. Small jump to there. No, still too high. Got it. Hello, Eduna. Good to see you. How are you? Yeah, it seems to be alright, Mr. Raw. I did a little test on today, and again, my audio disappeared off the face of the earth for some reason. I don't know why it does it. It's such a bizarre thing when it does it. So, yes, yeah, so let me know on the chat if the sound will go. Sometimes it does. Right, to there, to there, to there. Right, to there. I think that's right. That shouldn't be too big a drop for him. However, I went out of time this time. Well, I've done it, but not in the time. All goes good, thank you. Right. Got it. Now do it fast. So there. Quickly, quickly. Each level has a different quality of time. So there. So there. Jump. Got to touch every single platform. But the Cravers one has to be last. To there. To there. To there. Don't die. Don't die. You shouldn't die. Down he goes. There you go. We got there in the end. We're going to another game now. Stable and fast. Well, I haven't pushed it to the absolute limit yet, Mr. Raw. But we are certainly getting, getting there. Right, next game, next game, people. Right, okay, gonna go back onto a driving game, I think. However, we've still got two shoot ups to do. Uh, let's go for a little bit of, ooh, I don't know, let's go for a little bit of Zynaps. Again, never streamed it. Now, this version could have been so much better. The, the Mega was capable of so much more, but the ultimate version for me is the C64 version, in my personal opinion. But yeah, Houston Consultants games, or ports from the C4 weren't the greatest. Some were okay. But anyway, again, apologies about the green screen. It's a mint box, but it's so much better on the C4. Cannot fault the C4 version. 
But anyway, the music is good. But never seen it before. Why not? Right, questions. Um, I think I've said them all at this point. It's fine. We've still got a uh, tiny little slug to play. A little bit of Chase HQ. We've got time. ATR. I tell you what, we'll do a little bit of Chase HQ after this one. How about that? This won't be a long one anyway. I myself have been recording Fallout 1, long play, no commentary, attempting to record some Crash Bandicoot 3, have a bunch of bold plans for recording the other games too. Yeah mate, it's just, just, all my time is taken up. It just takes so much time, doesn't it, to try and get all these videos done. Okay, a little bit of uh, Trace HQ off of that. Off this. And your workbench is yes, thank you very much, you did that as well, thank you. Yes, I mean, they're not, not all bad, but it was just a capable of doing so much more, it really was. I was fairly in shock, I think. What I don't like about this version is I don't particularly like the spaceship. I mean, yes, the enemies, the stages are pretty much how they should look, but the, the spaceship that you control, it's nothing like the CG4 version. It's not even close, but again, we've got to try and click icons, and you hold the fire button down, and the one you select, wax faces. And hit for a speed up, to uh, increase bullets, homing bullets, bombs, yeah. I mean, I do like Houston, they are some very good games, but they're, they're much better on the CC4. Yeah, cannot wait for reshoot 3, cannot wait for that. The third installment. You got to try and increase your rate of fire. You're holding the fire button down, the screen will flash. And whatever you got, when you collect one, it's what you get. I mean, yes, it's got this cable doing so much more, but I, I still like this game. But Stormlord on Amiga, again, was it was okay, but again, the Amiga's cable doing so much more. But again, Stormlord on the C4 was absolutely superb. I love it. Yeah, the spaceship is a very unusual shape. Yeah, I agree. I still like it though, it's a shoot em up. Urgh! Boss battle at the end of each level. There's a big ship sprite that leads not as gar 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 gargantium as the one in the awesome. Oh, awesome's good, yeah. The problem with Awesome is I tend to get in a bit of a tangle with the the planet screen. You've got to have the right sort of quantity of fuel to get to each planet. Uh, I do tend to get in a bit of a kerfuffle with that. But it's a nice game because it's broken down in different sections. You know, you've got your bit on foot, flying, but yeah, it's the, it's the planet screen I get in a tangle. Also, the icons are slightly different as well. You need to go and get a little bit more better rate of fire. Take it easy. Yeah, you're off, are you? Take it easy. Anthony, appreciate it. Um, right, we need. I think that is rate of fire. No, it's not. Oh, interesting. But I believe they wear off. Now, I'm going to long play the CG4 version. That is the ultimate version, I think. Right, boss battle. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait this war. It's such a shame the first game had those really awful, really awful bugs. Unfortunately, it's a bug that prevents me from finishing it. Uh, but yeah, you sort of die even though nothing actually hits you. It's a shame, but. It's still a nice game to own your collection. But 2 is brilliant, absolutely superb. But yeah, the third one is going to be difficult. I know it is going to be difficult. They said that. <laughs> I remember when I competed on stream and uh, Richard Lowison said we need to make this game a bit more difficult. But of course, it's going up screen rather than vertical. Now, see your version, I can't remember if it has checkpoints. But again, we need to be a bit more speedier, Jamie. We're not very, very fast. Uh, 
No energy bar for boss battles. And also, this does suffer from slowdown, this version, as well. Oh, Lord. This farm is killing me already. It's farming a lot. It really is. Ouch. Boss machine does look good. It really does. Yeah, the artwork is sensational. Uh, reshoot possibility and boss machine comes will be really. S we will see what the AGA machines are capable of. Well, to be honest, the, we all know the Amiga is capable of so much, so many, so many incredible things. So, yeah, it's superb. Of course, we all know what it can do. We've seen it before, but it does amaze me what else it is capable of doing because it, it really is an amazing piece of kit. Pegasus is good, yeah, yeah, that is good. It's a big ship sprite, but at least it's not the... Uh, uh, Guardian, I'm not sure on that one. Oh, you mean the... Yes, I know what one you mean. Yes, the one in space, yes, sir. Have a fun, Jamie. Uh, I have a friend here on the beers going to watch a movie. No worries at all. Uh, congrats for the van project. Looks cool. Yes. Hope you're well, Ed Eduna. Good to see you. Yeah, Mr... Uh, Dumb Joe or Mr. Raw, do you know when that's coming out, that boss machine? That's really, really good. I've seen a few pieces of footage on Facebook. Yeah, I don't know when it's going to come out, though. Right, cannot shoot the asteroids. But yeah, it does suffer quite a lot from slowdown already on this point. <clears throat> but even on CG4, I haven't completed it yet, but I can get far. It's one of the best shoot-em-ups on the CG4, I think, anyway. Right, we need some weapons. We need to be a bit more faster. Don't be slow in a game like this, especially when the game slows down anyway. We don't have very good weapons either. But yeah, I believe even the speed up wears off. I'm sure it does. We are too slow. Hello to fake user, good to see you. Hi Jamie, can you still remember the gods music even though our last play about 30 years ago. Yeah, Into the Wonderful, exactly. Right, we're gonna have one more go. We need to get speed up, Jamie. Speed up is very important in a game like this. Hope you're well, fake user. So, Mr. Raw, how far is it away, journey-wise, to your dad's house? Is it far? Safe journey home, buddy. But I just felt it was going to be... We got port... port oh, I, can't, I can't read now. True, but I just felt that we got port from OS6, OCS to AGA. Not many true... True, yeah. There are some games, which of course... <clears throat> is capable of so much more. I mean, Zool... I think Zool... The original Zool was better than Zool AGA. Um... But then there are some games that do look AGA quality, but they're not. I mean, Invia works on a, on a 500, which is really amazing, here, isn't it? That does look AGA. I don't think even Project X, no, Project X isn't AGA either. Again, it looks like AGA. Oh, poo! Hello to Brett187, thank you for fixing my PC. <laughs> Hope you're well. Are you busy this weekend? Yep, last weekend I took my PC to Brex's house. Ugh. Oh my lord, and he fixed it for me. Three hours, I hope it goes well. Safe journey. Okay. Speed up. Right, that's a rate of fire. The icons are different in this one. But they wear off. We don't be slow, and that's better. Now we've got all the trees the fire. Again, fun is hurting already. Home Brits. Not the greatest, but okay, we'll go with that. 
Yes, it's about, it's about an hour's drive from here. Yeah, he messaged me on Discord and said, you know, I can fix it for you, and of course, I can't fix it. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, really, really nice guys. Nice to catch up with him. And, you know, it's walking apart from him. You know, it does this thing day in, day out. It's, it's, it's simple. Right, my speed up is wearing off. Right. Wears off very quickly, too. You're a huge M, too, Mr. Lee. <laughs> uh, that speed up. I don't know if you. I don't know if these homing bullets wear off. It's possible. But I think we've maxed those out. Got to keep chopping them up, so yeah, it keeps you on your toes. This one. Then we've got some bouncy. We actually won that one. Put my least favourite weapon in this game, I just think. Good for enemies on the ground. There's not many enemies on the ground. Oh well, we're going to do it the hard way. But we're a little bit more faster this time. Oh, just slow down. Literally, just as I said that, I'll slow down again. Oh, look! More petrol in the tank! That's what it needs. I know this game does slow down, I don't think that's the cause. This is why we've got powers. Right. Now, in the CG4 version, if you take too long, you'll just fly away. Right here either. Thank you, right back at you. Back at you, buddy. Kevin Sword is an outstanding pixel artist on the Mega. Boss Machine looks outstanding. It really, really does. Um, tune this weekend. Motorcycle repair. You're always fixing, aren't you? Always fixing. Got a new set of fairling, fairings. Bearings? I'm assuming some bearings. Replacing fork seals. Also, fun, fun, fun. Okay. Um, right. Oh, my lord. Slow down. Big, big slow down here. How are we doing for viewers, people? And also, yeah, Kevin Saunders, another really busy man. Always doing things. Amazing artist. Mr. Roy, are you doing any, any more drawing? Have you been working on any projects recently? Right. Weapons, Jamie, we need weapons. I can't reach him. Can't reach him. Too slow. Fifty. Wow, fifty. That's amazing. I think it's been a quiet stream today. Thank you, everyone. Right. Speed up, JB. That's better. That's better. But again, won't stay that way. It never does, does it? Oh my lord. Well, this is a better attempt. You don't want really to forget to top up your weapons. 43 likes. Thank you very much, guys. That really means a lot. Thank you, Gumjo. 50. Amazing. That's amazing. It doesn't even move that well either. It's such a shame. It really is a shame. It could have been so much better. But it's a shoot em up. I do like it. But of course, there are much better ones out there. <clears throat> yeah, quite a lot slower. I mean, it's not really that much going on, really. I mean, it's a, it's a black background. It shouldn't really slow down. I mean, the CC4 version does slow down sometimes on level 3, but then there's so much going on on that screen. But sometimes slow down can actually work to your advantage, especially if there's lots of bullets on the screen, because the bullets will slow down. It gives you a little bit more time to react. Prepare your next move. 50 watch, I'm really pleased with that, thank you. Oh, look at it. Oh, slow, slow. I know we've been playing a slug game later on today, but I think 
tiny little slug is moving faster than this thing. <clears throat> so Gumdio, what are you doing this weekend? Any gaming? Ugh, look at that! Where's the boss battle? Oh here we go. Just talk about you. It's like an acorn. You're part of it anyway. What are those things you use to be you putting into your finger when you're turning pages? I can't remember what those things are called though. In the season 4 version, there's two of them. Ugh. It's getting closer. Stay away! Woohoo! There we go, we just the like button. Thank you. Sadly, not being really totally afraid. Mate, as long as you're well, that's the most important thing. As long as you're well, you're happy. And we want a happy war. Exactly, that's what we want. We don't want an unhappy poorly war. <laughs> Thank you for your messages, Mr. Roy. It's always, always nice to hear from you. It always is. I heard from Steve Boy last weekend. It was great to hear from him too. And Rusty James as well. Oh, I believe it. Okay, where we go? Where we go with that? Now, Heath, I'm going to be a little rusty at Chase Hates Q. I'm not great at that game, but we'll give it a quick go. And yes, I do have a box version. No, it's not as good, no. I like it. I don't hate it. I do like it. But it's got nothing on the CC4 version. Right. A little bit of Chase HQ. Rusty Chase HQ. I'm trying not to burp here. I'm trying not to burp. Um, anyway, I'm getting through this beer. Uh, what is it? 5%. Oh my lord. Pushing the boundaries here. Um, go down to C. After this, how about a little bit of... Well, so we've got Product X to play, tiny little slug, ATR, and I think that's it. I mean, a little bit of weird dreams. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> I'm not great at it, though. I warn you now. I'm drinking Heineken. I didn't buy it. Someone else gave it to me. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony, once again. <coughs> Uh, again, in the other days, I believe one of our friends came round and he had this and he bought it round. Never played a driving game where you have to destroy other cars. <clears throat> that was the first. Um, I can't find it. Can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Again, I don't know why it's not in order. It should be. Ah, oh, just saw it. Just saw it. Just saw it. There we go. Hello to Max. Good to see you. I'm staying a while. I'm not staying forever. Yes. Uh, very much bedtime. What time is it where you are? Uh, yeah, Impossible Mission. I love that game. I must long... I want, I, again, I want to try and get that first time completion. Again, scrolling... Not the greatest. Yeah, I won't do, I won't do a long play this time. I just want to... Spice the channel up a little bit, spice, spice the streams up a little bit, but it's a brilliant game. Yeah, I'm trying to sort of do a bit of everything, bit of this, bit of everything on this one. Bit of driving, bit of puzzle, bit of platforming. New games, old games. Yeah, why not? This is Nancy at Safe Headquarters. We've got an emergency here. They've always got emergencies here. How old were you when you first played this? If you can remember. <laughs> I've got box version. I'll leave it over there, though. Oh, Let's go, Mr. Driver. It's automatic, isn't it, Jamie? Of course it is. No, it's not. It's... Yeah, okay. I have to admit, I'm not a fan of manual gearboxes in games. A hundred hours, yeah? <laughs> That's a lot of time. Now, driving games don't tend to happen much on my channel, but I've had two today. In your teens. Yeah, I'm not great at driving it. I never have been. Right, turn right. That's fine. Again, it was on so many versions, wasn't it? I sold it, it was going to be rusty. So much debris, my lord. Ugh. A few game, a few. There's a level in Lotus Three. 
there's like so much stuff on the road. I think it's it's road work. I think it's the UK. Probably is. It makes sense. So much road work in your way. Like roads are never that bad in real life. Probably 1990 on the arcade. I think I have played it on arcade. But I don't remember when and how, well, where it was and how long I played it for. It was probably a one go situation. But then back then, it was fairly cheap to have a go, wasn't it? 10p was normally enough, or 20p. The road. Just made that checkpoint. Yeah, no bit of slowdown, yeah. But then we do get boost, don't we? Space bar? Possibly space bar. Yes, it is. It's like a DeLorean, isn't it? No. No, go. Keep forgetting it has boosts. Use the turbo, I just did. <laughs> yes. Last time I streamed it, I don't think I used the turbo once. I keep forgetting it has them. It's sliding around, I can't even stay on the road. Hello! <laughs> yes, uh, Bubba Gray, good to see you. What are your phase? I'm not great, I'm really not good at this game, I never have been. I'm turning, but the car is still going off the road. I'm probably going to run out of time, it's no surprise. Hope you're well, you doing any, playing any games this weekend? I need the time extending, I ain't going to get one. I told you I was rusty. Bit. Yeah, no, a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I did watch. I used to watch that quite a lot. TV was so good in the older days. We had it so good. We really, really did. Played this on Master System. The only time I saw the arcade back in the day was the deluxe cap. We sat in the car. You're in the driver's seat. You don't, you don't get many of those now, do you? You might see the occasional one, but. In fact, when it comes to arcade machines, it's mostly driving ones you tend to see, or maybe the occasional gun one, or the dance map ones. Um, the occasional bike one you still find from time to time. I think the last arcade driving game I played, I think it was maybe Sega Rally 3, I think it was. Right, he's smoking. I miss arcade days, I really, really do. I've said it many, many times. Unless you're lucky enough to own them, hey, Mrs. King Arthur. But apparently, apparently, according to King Arthur, we're going to be having an arcade in Kent somewhere. I didn't know about that. He knows more about where I live than I do. I keep forgetting to look into that. Google it, I haven't looked in that yet. That'd be interesting, that'd be fantastic. That's a wire, isn't it? I done it. Not professionally done. I did say I'm rusty. Um, played this forever, 100 hours. I played most of them uh, about twice. The show speed is just ridiculous. 300 kilobytes. <laughs> you know, there's one of my one of your favourites. Well, the arcade version, anyway. Use the turbo. <clears throat> Not played this game in years. Close, Jamie. Come on, you can do it. I've done it. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of SM MS Flight Simulator on Xbox. I've been on stream all night, but also flying a plane. Now, they don't hear every day, do they? Do you ever play, play stream main 32? If you mean 
a steam. I've got steam, yes. I don't use it much, though. Uh, when it comes to main, I have got a retro bit, but not all games it performs well. Some it really does struggle. Um, it's not the greatest. What I would like to get is some sort of retro pie in the future. I know a few people have got them, and Robert Gray's one of them. <coughs> and Lucas, if he's, I don't think Lucas is here, but a few people have. Um, but yeah, it's not the greatest. It's better than nothing, I suppose. I keep remembering to down gear, Jamie, when you're making big, big turns. You got an arcade, yeah? How many how many arcades would you say there are in that arcade? Many? <clears throat> About fifty? Over fifty? Be nice having one right near your house, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Oh really? Oh I was looking at that. Into that, yeah. It's called Club Arcade Hall. It's owned Lee Play Play Lee? So it's top games. That's cool. I like that. Um, Techno Cop, I've only played it on the CC4, but it was a long, long, long time ago. It was on a disk drive. Uh, there was a compilation we bought. So it had about four discs thrown in. Uh, it had Techno Cop, Skate Crazy, Ghosts and Goblins. Um, uh, it had uh, Black Tiger. And E-Swats, I think it was. But yeah, I can't remember what we got. How much we paid for it, but yeah, it had Techno Cop on it, but yeah, don't know a lot about it. Five minutes away, superb, you can walk it, that's superb. It'd be nice, isn't it? Just, just pop it down the road and go to the arcades. Yeah, that's not too bad. Poo, oh, Jamie, that's gonna crash your car. Right, okay. 45, 45 minutes for you. Okay. A long way from me. <laughs> what does this one look like? Ridiculous speeds. Doing ridiculous things. But then King Arthur doesn't need to go to the arcades, he lives in one. It's increasing all the time. One second, again. Time, we don't need time in a game like this. Petrol, I can understand, time, no. There's going to be a checkpoint. Checkpoint anytime soon would be nice. No. No. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> um, yeah, the answer to your question, I don't know what I'd pick out of that because Techno Cop of hardly plays. I don't think I'm, I, I, I don't even know if it's actually on the Mega. I'm assuming it probably is. Probably US Dollar, I expect. We lived near the seafront, so had lots of arcades on my doorstep. Not anymore. It's like when I went to Folkestone. It's such a, I mean, that arcade went so long ago. I couldn't believe it went. It was, it was a really, really nice thing. And it, it just, it just... I don't know why it went. I just don't know why. Why? It was the only one we had. It was huge. It was a massive dome. It was huge. Great memories of that. It was going over my dad. And, uh... One day we went back there and it wasn't there. Unbelievable. You can spend all day in there, have dinner, some beers, good day, out Jamie. Well, I probably can't drink, but you'll be driving. I'll be a, be a wreck. <laughs> I mean, this, I mean, that's going to be my only one today. The only one. That's on Mega Drive as well. I'm not seeing it on Mega Drive. I do like Mega Drive. Nothing, nothing, nothing bad about the Mega Drive, but it's the Mega and the CG4. That's, that's the ultimate. 
always will be, it always has been. Okay. Let's go on to something completely different now. <laughs> Take it easy, Kite 66G. You're like a, a very, very, you're an hour ahead of me or two hours. I think you're, yeah, mate, you've been a busy boy. <laughs> Take it easy. Good night's sleep is needed for you. Take it easy. Right. Go on to a new game this time. Tiny Little Slow. Now, I have long played it. It was actually a long play and an unboxing combined. Now, I won't do a long play today, but we'll just get some decent footage. Now, this one, I'm going to be using a disk on this one. And now my disk drive is working superbly well. We're going to fire it up. And this game is on one single disk. Pardon me. Okay. But yeah, I try and sort of fit in as many new games as well as old games, if possible. <laughs> Anyone played it? Came out last year, I think it was. And it's superb, I love it. CD32 version as well. I have the CD and the disc. Now, I've mentioned it before, I've mentioned it so many times before. I'm using the OSSC, and every so oh, often it will go out of sequence, or the resolution changes, of course, it's an issue. And what I'm noticing is, it doesn't seem to be more likely to be new games that have the most problems. But I tried this one just before the stream started, and it didn't seem to be any issues. It seemed to perform quite well. I'm assuming the audio is still in sync. I'm assuming so. Right. That's a really good arcade in board stairs. I used to go when I was a kid on holiday. Good times, right? I'm trying to buy a, a Ghosts and Goblins cabinet from the US as we speak. Mate, where'd you get all this money from? You're loaded. <laughs> I'm pleased for you. You can need a bigger house soon. Something I say quite a lot. You played it, have you? Take it easy, Kite 6 g Okay. Right, we got normal, too easy, or salty. Salty is the most difficult. We'll go for normal. Right, question. Why not? How many games can you name which contains slugs or snails? Why not? Basically, the rules of the game is you've got to try and find the strawberry. At the start of the game, it is very much in your sights, but we can't just go up to it because, of course, you can't jump. He's a slug. So, you have to take a leap of faith. Once you find that strawberry, and on that unboxing I did, the game finishes. But, the game's not actually that long. But it has basically unlimited goals. It has checkpoints. Every time you reach a checkpoint, your health is then regenerated. But of course, being a slug, he does what slugs will do best. Then go up walls and go along ceilings. Sorry, is that word? It's taking up... Yeah, it's taking up the entire platform, really enough. Now the first ever game I played, where you play as a, sna a snake, sna slug, sorry, <sighs> or stick the slug, and I didn't know what to make about that game at first, I had no idea what I was supposed to do, I got in a major twist, um, and I believe that was Codemasters, but again, I kept trying it, and eventually I got the hang of it, but it's a difficult game, it really is, um, but there's not many games I know where you play as one. I know there's a few on the CC4. I think one is called Snail or Slug. Uh, not played it though. But I know they do feature in a lot of games. Mostly it's enemies. Yeah, Stick the Slug, yeah. <laughs> Just talking about it, yeah. I don't think I've got it. I used to. I don't know what happened to that. I think it might have been one of the ones that got stolen. I had about 10 games that got stolen in the other day, and I think that might have been one of them. Because some of them I, I cannot remember to this day. I'm going to have to move that out of the way, Jamie. Um, anyway, you get the idea. Games with slugs or snails. Um, yeah, a little bit like Flood. A little bit, yeah. Flood is good. Crazy game, that one. Difficult. Really difficult. But yeah, once you reach the CP checkpoint, energy is restored. Now, the moment of time... We've got the basics, but there's not many games I've played. We can actually have no additional... Basically, we can't fire. We can't kill in this game. You can't kill anything. Not with powers, anyway. All we can do is just use the debris from the falls on the ceiling. There are boss battles, but we're not using slug power. We're using falling debris. Um, 
But yeah, basically it's an avoider map, pretty much. Now you can get the ability to later on, you can get the ability to be immune to spikes, you get the ability to jump, and you get the ability to go into f freezing cold temperatures. There's a moment with time we cannot. You go into the freezing cold, you're going to drain your energy, so you've got to try and find a chili. Now these vines play a big part, that's basically their boundaries, they can't go past those vines, that's their limits. So that is a good place to wait, wait patiently for the right time to make your move, <laughs> yeah. But luckily, checkpoints do feature quite often. I love it, it's superb. CJ Elephant Antics, Sam's Journey, superb hey. games. I've not finished any of them, but Sam's Journey is a long game though. Opinia, of course. Uh, aren't these slugs in Bullfrog's Flood? I don't recall seeing them in Floods, but um, you probably are right. Don't give them any salt! No, that's mean! That's a mean thing to do. I'm not loaded, I have a wheel of deal to make things happen. Mate, I'm, I'm really pleased with you. They're going to good home, that's, what's, that's, what, mate, that's what I'm pleased about. You're getting them, you're looking after them, you're restoring them, it's great to see. And yes, I am a little bit jealous. So at the moment of time, we are not immune to spikes, so we have to go along the ceiling. But it does take a bit of time to master, and I haven't played this since that long play. But yeah, it does take some time to master the movements, because, yeah, some you cannot cling to. You can't sort of go round like that. If you try and do that, it'll fall off. <clears throat> New Zealand story, brilliant game, but extremely difficult. Right, the Snoke ate a hot chili pepper. They feel very warm after that. So now we go to the cold temperature, we won't be affected. Our energy will not drain. Looks a lovely game. Yeah, it's superb. Yeah, it came out last year. I've wasted no time. Guide your like on a major adventure to grab a shiny strawberry, visit dark caves, icy mazes, lava-filled pits, and ghost-filled mines. Assist the slugs' fiends, friends so they can help you. On this fantastic journey, learn new skills to open up new areas and reach the unexplored sections. Three master difficulty levels to achieve the highest score and upload the score to compete against other slug fans. So yes, you can actually speedrun this if you so wish. Now you press the pause button and it'll actually tell you how far, or how long should we say, it's taking you so far. So at the moment of time, 4 minutes 34. But we won't be doing a long play today. I've already done it. <coughs> um, but anyway, you've got to try and open up all the sections, get all the abilities, and also you've got to try and find items for other friends. Including a plushie and a shell. <clears throat> but again, it helps you know where you're going. And keep that energy topped up by going to the checkpoints. There are quite, actually quite a lot of checkpoints in this game. So yeah, really nice thing. You also get switches, which open up additional areas. Guys, this is G, you're still here, buddy. <laughs> um, Shadow Beast 2, the snail that takes you back. It exactly takes you back to Carrow Moon. Yes. Yeah. Um... Earlier today, I watched a Wonder Boy stream from a few years ago where you got stuck. At mine? Waiting for a snail to move. Yes, when you lose your axes and you're stuck by a, a, a snail or a, sla um, a snake. Yeah. Especially on the beach level, a water level. You don't want to be losing your axes on a level like that because if you're right near the edge and you've got vitality bar that's draining all the time and you're waiting for a snail to move out of the way or a snake. Yeah. Yes, thank you for watching that. Yeah, I, I love that game. I love it. Yay. I love to play it on stream again. It's such good fun. It's one of those games, it's like on the edge of your seat sort of thing. I love all that. Right, take it easy, guys. Susan G. Get some sleep, buddy. But yeah, CJ Evan and Sit. I absolutely love that game, but it desperately needs new uh, in game sound effects. In fact, I've got both of them, both um, CJ in the USA and Elephant Antics, and none of them have additional sound effects whatsoever. But I think I do prefer it on the CD4, uh, because it was the first version I played, and the music is out of this well, it's superb. Elephant Antics was better, music-wise, to CJ in, CJ in USA, I thought. Right, okay, so of course, being a slug, you can go up and along walls and on ceilings, but also you can go over a gap, but only a gap of one space. But there are so many wasps here, so many bees here. Now you can take a few hits, but not too many. He's not invincible. There are so many here. But apparently, when he made this game, he actually did actually reduce how many bees there are in some of these stages, because it, it was just too difficult. There was just too many of them. 
So when you die, you go back to the last checkpoint you reached. Yeah, he went a little bit extreme with the amount of bees. Right, okay. Yeah, some really difficult screens. But yeah, the trouble is you can't fight back. Just avoid everything. Avoid what you can, where you can. Press down and fire to get off the ledge. Um, I wonder about this game. Is it on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5? Well, this, no. Uh, but thank you for watching that video. Thank you very much, Max. We really appreciate it. But you're talking about Ghost of Tr Tsushima, aren't you? No, I've not played that one. When it comes to PlayStation 3, 4... Well, no, not 3. I'm okay with 3. But 4 and 5. I can't compete. <laughs> I can't compete. Right, so many bees. Go make a coffee, take it easy. I won't go away, I won't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm staying here, buddy. There you go. Right, checkpoint. But yeah, he's a very fast-moving slug. But I love the animation, I love the way he looks around. Um, I might get it then, looking for an epic game to play. I'm playing through Village right now, of Resident Evil. Is it the best Resident Evil of the lot? We're at Rusty James, what's your opinion on it so far? I think you've got it, haven't you? Is it better than 4? I'll be surprised if you say yes, but you never know, you might. Right, we hit the switch, boom and pow. So now we can jump, but not yet. But now we can jump up there if we need to. Still need to get that one out of the plastics. Bought it months ago, Rusty James. Tiny Little Slug looks better than the last time I saw it. How do you like the... I like it, I think it's really good. Really good, I love it. But yeah, it does take some getting used to with the mastering of the uh, the walls and the ceilings because, yeah, like I say, you can't go round like that. You can only sort of go up like that, you know, like that sort of thing. But yeah, you can't sort of go like there. You can't do a U-turn there. It won't allow you. His body won't stretch that way. Um, the bosses are difficult. They really, really are. Because, again, you don't have any additional skills. You've got to use the fallen debris. And it is a difficult thing to do. But the checkpoints is, is a real lifesaver in this game. But I don't want to use too many. I don't want to rely on them too much. But even this, there are some really difficult enemies because they're in very confined spaces and a lot of them. Um, but yeah, checkpoints. Hello to Trevor, good to see you. How are you? But yeah, I love it. I think it's a really good game. It's better than Steg the Slug. I did like Steg the Slug, but it's just really difficult. So yeah, taking a few hits is not a problem when there's so many checkpoints around. Never really understood why there's another additional pepper there, because we've got one. Now, if you're going to get to this point with no pepper, you need dead meat. Going to get some sleep, take it easy. Thanks for watching, Max. Good to see you. Have a good night's sleep. Have a good weekend. How are you, Trevor? Good to see you. Now, the bosses are difficult. What we're trying to do here is use the icicles. Now, once it falls, it will regenerate itself, but of course, you can see it regenerates in. So once it's fully regenerated, then you've got to be underneath it so it falls. So a lot of good timing here. So wait for it to get to a reasonable point, drop down, and hopefully we'll take the damage. Now when he reaches a block, he will stop in its tracks. Yeah. Right, go, go, go. But you can't get additional energy during a boss battle, but at the moment of time, energy is maxed out. So we're okay at the moment of time, just stay away from salt. <laughs> No energy bar for boss battles, unfortunately. Right. Drop. Drop. Something like that. order, are you? Quickly, quickly goes it. Look at him go, he's doing his best. Yes, this is Tiny Little Slug. I've got a box version, came out last year. When I did an unboxing video, I actually completed it on the unboxing video, so I was really pleased with that. But yes, energy's just taking quite a hit there. Hope you're well. Alright, keep away. No time limit, which is fantastic. 
But this is when it gets really difficult because you've got to hit him two more additional times, but now they've got these in place. And it's, it's really difficult to avoid them. No, that one more hit was needed. That's all it took. Yeah, I've got a box version here. Yes, brilliant. Um, where did you get Rusty James on Village? I'm on the rooftop through the attic. <laughs> it's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler for me. I don't have the system to play it on. If you like fighting small and a bit of stealth, you will love to shoot me. On one of OSG's hidden gems videos, he featured the third CG. I didn't know. It was, I didn't know it was free. I have to buy that one as well. Oh, you're buying that... You're buying that one, are you? Oh, I see now. You want Cyberpunk? I've never played that. Again, I wouldn't... Because I don't have the system to play it on. I know Chaotic Knight played it loads. He was really addicted to it. No, we don't want time limits all the time. Sometimes, yeah, it's understandable. But it, it, we don't want time limits. Especially if you're a slug. I mean, that's quite mean for a slug, isn't it? I mean, he's got a, he's got his problems already. He doesn't need s low time limits. Yeah, this is a difficult boss. You've got to get off to a really good start. Because when those enemies arrive, yeah, that's when you can take a few additional hits. Have you got PlayStation 5 then, King Arthur? I'm, I'm assuming you probably have them. Down. <laughs> Mate, even I struggle sometimes playing these games. <laughs> Especially modern. I do struggle to play modern because modern games are so long. I mean, yes, I've been playing quite a lot of R-Type Final 2, but of course it's not as long as other games. But yeah, if it's like an 8-hour, 7-hour game, I'll never get around to playing that. If I didn't have a channel, then yes, of course I would. Just. Just. Right. So far, so good. So jinx it. Right. Okay. Full energy. That's fine. I think two more is all he acquires. This is always really difficult when those enemies are in, in, in that way. No, again, one more was all he needed. Oh. Me too, I've been working all day and night and last all week, so. I just wish I had time to play all these games. I will wait for that one, I think. Thanks, Ossie James. Right, one more go. Come on, James, we can do this. The bosses are difficult. Any boss you can try and kill with no additional weapons is not an easy task. There he goes. And also, sometimes these icicles are taken away. So you're limited how many you can use. There he goes, drop down. I think there's three bosses in this game. Maybe four to include the last one. I think it's either three or four. Right, wait. There it goes. What sort of hours do you do, Linking Arthur? Don't mind me asking. Do you get weekends off every week? It's a tough world for a slug, isn't it? My lord. Just keep going. So he's faster than a slug. <laughs> he really is. Uh, that's a handy platform there. Okay. You've got to wait for the right time, wait for it to regenerate. There's a lot of luck in that falling. But you, can, you can also be harmed by these articles, they can harm you as well. It 
Here's an energy bar. Go. Right, quickly, Jamie. You don't need those enemies. You really don't. Oh, I've done it! Look at that energy, my lord. That is so difficult when those enemies are reduced into play. Cup of coffee and raspberry jam on toes. It's yummy! Bon appetit, Mr. Heath. Right, so now we're going to progress. We need a checkpoint. We need our energy replenishing. There we go! That's a tough, tough job to get a plushie. There we go. The slug is found on the bee's plush penguin, which looks happy with its life and is probably a mascot of some great invention or in another universe. Which, of course, is... Linux, isn't it? <coughs> Normally 8 to 4, Monday to Friday, but I have a lot of projects on. So I have been working 8 to 4. See, I could do that. 8 to 4, I probably could do that. Because I quite like my sleep. I don't like getting early. I, get, I don't like getting up early. But I don't like going to... Hang on, I'll say that again. I don't like getting up early. And I don't like going to bed early. Because I tend to stay away as late as I possibly can. But yeah. This week... I've had a few early nights. The early night for me is probably about 11 o'clock. But the trouble is, it doesn't, when I get home from work, that's when it hits me like a ton of bricks. I don't feel it at work. Um, but yeah, I, I could do a 9 to 5 or an 8 to 4. I'd probably, I'd probably be happy with that. Get a reasonable sleep, a reasonable time at home. You can stay awake sort of late-ish. I'd be happy with that. Is Mr. Law still here or do you fall asleep? <laughs> right, okay. We have a... Plushie. What we're going to try and do now is go to the friend that was missing his plushie. Now we've hit that switch, the platform will be put back in place, so we should be okay now. But it's never easy task. We'll try and avoid all these enemies in the way. Um, this way, isn't it? Yay! Yay! He said so. But I would like to do Rusty's, Rusty Jamie's job. I'd like to work from home. I'd, I'd be very happy doing that. Really happy doing that. I could, I could live like that. Small house or big house? I could do that. I would love to do that. There you go. Superb. I've lost my tucked pushy. Please help me find it. There we go. Found it. Thank you so much. Please take this present as reward. There you go. Attack poles. The suckers found a spring using the fire button. They are now capable of jumping. There you go. Slugs can jump. <laughs> I do 12 to 7.30, very antisocial hours. It's not the greatest, is it? But then you are at home. I can quite easily do that. But now that I don't go out, I don't I don't tend to see people these days. It's just It's quite depressing really. Um right, where now? Now we can jump, so we have to go this way. Yes. Yes. Oh poo! What happened there? Oh, uh, that two bin you look looks good. It does, doesn't it? it? Really does look good. Um, right. We're trying to find a shell, haven't we? Which is down here. No, it's not. It's up here. I think. Basically, you need to jump to find it. No, we'll go this way. They're mean. Um, this way. Yeah, amazing. I love 2B and it's superb. I have played the arcade, but it was at an expo. Trouble is that you're going to play them at expos. There's going to be huge crowds, but of course, going to be huge queues. So it's quite a wait to, to, to get the go. And of course, at a venue like that, you're not going to get a long amount of time to play, really. But yeah, the last one I went to, I didn't play many. The queues were so long. Plus, I was recording as well. Um, it's just nice to see them. Nice to see them is also nice as much as playing them. It's just as nice that people look after them, restore them, preserve them. Right, so now we've got the ability to jump. We've got to try and find the next area, which will take us to the area which requires jump. And we should be fine. I retired in 2015, so I'm happy to spend time in my man cave and fly all my drones. You've got a lot of drones. An impressive quantity of drones. I'm not ready to tie yet. Checkpoint. Here we 
we can't jump over there. No queues at my house? No! No, none there. None there at all. So how many do you have? You've probably got about ten, I'd, I'd, I'd say, minimum. I probably have asked you that in the past. Yeah. It's a difficult section, it really is. Up there. Gotta be quick. You inside at 15. I am 38. <laughs> I'll be 39 next month. There we go, we can jump. Up we go, up we go. The quest for a shell is now. Dedicated cabinets, yeah, it's superb. There we go. Um, I'm so pleased with it. I spent three hours cleaning it with the magic eraser. Have some new tea bond molding, tea molding with the base coming from the US too. Should look essential. I bet the delivery was unbelievably high. Must have been huge. But I suppose, you know, it's worth it. For what you're getting. Um, right, so now we've got to find the next friend. Which... Oh, that's me. Which... What, oh, right back here. Oh, never mind. But yeah, apparently some of these screens, you actually did reduce how many wasps there were. There was too many. It was just too difficult for some people. You went overboard with the, with the wasps and bees. Yeah, if you're on Facebook, yeah. That'd make it a lot easier. How are we doing for viewers? My man cave is a bit stuffed, so I'm building an arcade in one of my spare bedrooms. I want a bigger house. I do want a bigger house. I need a bigger house. Please. I'm jealous of these people's big houses. I don't want a huge house, just bigger than the one I've got. Trouble is, the houses down here are so expensive. They really are. Good 38, thank you, Rusty James. I want to set you a high score on it. I have a high score save kit on it. I just want to play it on our Donkey Kong. That looks amazing. Oh dear, oh, I want arcades, I want space. Right, we've got a checkpoint. The trouble is I'm now losing the plot of where they all go now. I've done the shell. Right, I've got to find the... Got to find the it sounds weird, doesn't it? I've got to find the slug now. Um, he wasn't a slug to begin with, he was a snail. But a snail without a shell is a slug. We have a shell on our possession. Right, up here. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm happy with what I've got, of course. I'd be not happy if I've had more. But I'm lucky to have what I've got. Big house means big time cleaning. That is true. I have to admit, I do leave it quite a lot. Sometimes I get very lazy and I don't do it. I know what you're thinking, I really should not ignore it. But the trouble is I'm doing other things like editing or recording. That comes first, normally. I try and put videos first. Right, there we go. Thank you so much. As a ward, you'll be at the power of the Moon Moon Spikes. Hello to Vamp to be. good to see you. Um... 
Five bedrooms? My lord. I've got <laughs> living room, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, conservatory, and the, the bit under the stairs. I've got five rooms. You can't recount really that as the bit under the stairs of room, can you? Right, so now spikes is not an issue. I mean, there is some handy spaces in this. There's a cupboard there, which is very handy. All my retro gamers are in there. And the cupboard under the stairs is a huge saviour. But the property upstairs is actually more expensive to rent than this one. Bear in mind, they've actually got less. I've got a conservatory. They don't. I've got a garden. They don't. I've got the area under the stairs. They don't. But they pay 745 where I'm paying six. Six four five. It's ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Prices for houses down here are extortionately high. Anyway, enough about money and rent and all that. Hello to John. Good to see you. How you doing? Yes, I've heard. Yes, I've heard. It's crazy, isn't it? Same prices down here, yes. Good, good to hear your uh, car part of the same OT, Mr. Spud. Mine's next month as well. Uh, right, so this is where we use the the immune to spikes part. Because there's a lot of spikes here, so now it's no issues. How are you, Vantamiga? Good to see you. How long has it taken so far? 26 minutes. Really? That long? Right, Leap of Faith. How I've got two more games to play yet. Or well, three, if include one of the quests. Today I'm a little late. No worries at all. I was having dinner and now I'm looking at a desert. Really? I'm in a really, really hot environment. <laughs> said it before, said it many, many times before. If you're going to have ice, you're going to have fire, aren't you? There's not many games that have fire. And no ice, or ice and no fire. You live in a lot of area, Jerry. Yes, that is true. It's a really nice area. Plus, my mum is just five minutes down the road. So I can't argue with that. Job is five minutes down the road. It's not a lovely job, but it pays the bills. The area is quiet. Can't argue with that. My collection is safe. Roof above my head. Can't be all that bad, has it? I had a friend down here. He might be pretty thirsty. Find him something to drink. Could someone re-release this game in 1992 until 1992, John Magari, to buy it? Buy it, mate! Buy it! It's probably still available as a box version. Buy it. You can get it on C32 or a floppy disk version. Yeah, maybe you're saying, Robert Gray, that's mental, isn't it? About half of my rent. How many bedrooms have you got? Three? Oh, yeah, three. Three bedroom house with front and back garden. Prices down south are ridiculous. Yep. Right, we've got to try and find all the water. Now, I probably won't do all of this section, but every time you find a bottle of water, that actually replenishes your energy. So there's a lot of things that replenish your energy, but these little dudes here are deadly. They fly all over the place. They hover, they chase you, and they burn you to a crisp. But yes, the checkpoints is a lifesaver in this game. Basically, what you're trying to do is you've got to try and find all of them. But again, those vines, they are their boundaries. They won't go past those vines. But sometimes you've got to jump, and sometimes you've got a sliver. But the enemies don't fire in this game. I don't think any do. There's, there's ghosts on the final level, which are very deadly. Uh, but no enemies fire here. But they just move around in very, very difficult motions. Again, it's a difficult world for a slow. Um, so a huge thank you for the checkpoints. Um... So we need to get up there. Whoa, Jamie! Whoa, Jamie! Oh, that's fine. Yes, I am. There we go. No. Don't hesitate. Hello, Scott Serenity! Don't hesitate, Jamie. Don't backtrack. <coughs> Trouble is they put things in the way. You can't see what you're doing. 
Um, it's not an overly long game. Uh, it can be done in about 30 minutes. But I've got a few more games to play first. But I'll move on to another game in a moment. Oh, Jamie! Ugh. No, no. My mate was renting a room in London for about £800. That's mental, but it's London, isn't it? No surprise there. That's crazy, though, isn't it? What worries me is it's probably going to go up next month, my rent, uh, next year, probably, I expect. It would have gone up again if it wasn't for COVID. But... Oh, Jamie. This game does not lack in enemy numbers. We're everywhere. To there. But now we're immune to spikes. Spikes will not harm us. So there's no real no need for them to be there. But we're not immune to fire or lava. There we go. Checkpoints. It's your saviour. Ah! Right. It's worse than salt. No. No. Uh, Yorkshire is a lovely area too. My house is all paid for. Fantastic. That makes an easy life. Unfortunately, I can't get on the property ladder. Um, it, it depresses me, it really does, but... I did have a lot of savings. I was saving for absolute years, but now all my savings have gone. In fact, I went to Halifax a couple of weeks ago to try and get it to uh, just try and get a an update on what I've got in my ISO account because I hadn't put anything in there for about nine years. Turns out it's actually been locked because it hasn't been used for so long. So I've now got to get myself a passport to unlock it. It's the only way I can do it. So yeah, this seems a bit pointless. I will get a passport eventually, but at the moment of time, there's no point. We love a bit of Paradex, we do! <clears throat> London way too expensive. Oh, come down, you live in London, don't you? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. What are the prices like where you are? Are you rented? Mortgage? House paint? <laughs> is it still po uh, it's still possible to start again with your savings, Jamie? You still need Yes, that is true. I've got to get my account unlocked first. Like I say, it's not all bad, it could be so much worse. Right, uh there. There's just too many enemies in a confined space. <clears throat> but that is energy. Jamie, take your time. You don't need to rush. You're rushing, Jamie. You like Paradox 2? Yeah, it's quite a lot of Paradox here, isn't it? I think the, the most parallax I think I've seen in the game, it's it's probably Jim Power. Or maybe Show of the Beast. I think I think Jim Power might have a little bit more. I'm not sure. But there's so much going on on that screen. Oh poo, Jamie! <laughs> How many people up north are able to buy a property? Uh right. Don't get wasps and bees in a place like this. <laughs> what are they doing in a place like this? Who would live in a place like this? But in saying that, a slug shouldn't be in a place like this. Surely lava is not good for a slug. Oh, poo! This one is the best games of recent time. It's good, isn't it? I love it. It really is good. Difficult, though. This is the most difficult level of all of them. 
there's just so many enemies. I mean, yes, you do get checkpoints. Yes, you can replenish your energy, but there's just so many enemies if you can find space. But these are the worst. Let's go. So we've got first samurai to play, put an X to play, weird dreams to play. <laughs> oh. No. 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 Still can't do it. No wonder. No wonder you have so many toys. It's great to hear you are spending your money enjoying your retirement. Exactly. As long as people are happy, you can't put money on that. And yes, my life could be... Ugh! POO! <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. This is a really different section. Um... Pfft. He's got a lot going against him. He's got no legs. He's... he's uh, but... Tough times. It's a slug. Oh, what on the tip of the tail? <laughs> that must be hard, man. Cody, you cannot imagine. Actually, glad you're happy. Yes. Too many of them in the divine spits. <laughs> I want to get past it, but I want to get onto the next game too. Thank you very much, Fanta Bega. Appreciate it. Just, just keep jumping. Oh my lord! How difficult is that? Have rewarded one, two, three, four, and five. Replenishes your energy. Yay! He sounds happy. Now we've got to go back. Um, do you like watching Jamie's live streams? Do you appreciate the long plays? Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Right, now we're going to... Ah, uh, that's fine. We've got checkpoint. Right. Oh. Stop jumping all over the place! Hey, my lord! <laughs> Oh, I don't believe it. No <laughs> pressure, mate. No, when's the next one? <laughs> oh. No. Checkpoint, please. There you go. You can't put a price on that. Um, down we go. Down we go. Jamie, got the next gameplay, mate. Right, next death is the last death. <laughs> ah! Well, probably, but, well, probably not that one. <laughs> Stuff it wishes to say in the other day. One more go. One more go. Right, this is the last go. It never was, was it? There's a lot to pick up here. Maybe tomorrow. It all depends how much rain we get tomorrow. I was planning to go out. Um, but if it's going to chuck it down, I'll stay in and do some things here. No. Yes, I'm ready. No. The trouble is, you can't see him. He's behind the lava. Right. Last go. The absolute last go. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. That is true. Boss battles always got me in other days, but especially when dinner was ready. Yes, you're on a boss battle. You're trying to get past his boss. Your dinner's ready. I was on the table. Your mum keeps saying, dinner's ready, but you want to get past his boss. And uh, you just have one more go, one more go, and eventually you have no choice. You have to go downstairs. You get told off. 
Um, I mean, some bosses I can get through every single time, no problem, and some really do put up a fight, but it always happens at the worst times. Right up here. Right, I'm gonna switch. Right, that's the guy who needs the water. Um, but it doesn't tell you how much you've got. It doesn't tell you how much you've got to get, but I know there's a lot of it. Again, it's the evil f Whoa! Fire, people! <laughs> right, we're going this way. It's probably a fraction easier, but not by much. Because they put that lava flow in the way of difficult sections. You can't see, it's difficult to see. They did it on purpose. <laughs> we're rewarded with water. There you go. There. there we go. Um, checkpoints. Yes. Checkpoints are your friend in this game. Stop jumping around. Stop causing problems. What pack is it? Um, there you go. You got another sub. There we go. Good pal. Have some of that. Sounded like it, that did Jamie. <laughs> right, last go, last go for real this time. Oh, Jamie, no. Next game. <laughs> Next game. Right. Um, I'm preparing the different vamp. Uh, I hope we have another heat wave soon. Well, I don't want it too hot. Don't want it too hot. Okay, we've still got. Oh my lord. Um, I really want to give Product X another go on stream. Um. But ATR, I'm going to place at ATR as well. What do you want to see first? ATR, Product X, or First Samurai? Yes, dinner's ready. It's not, dinner's, dinner's done. Dinner's done, dusted. <laughs> yeah. Um, first Samurai, Product X, or ATR? So a bit of everything, really, isn't it? Product X. Okie dokie. It's one of those, I'm going to have one go, one go only, um, but I really, really want to finish it. Oh, okay, we do put it X, then first Samurai. Um, I really, really want to complete this on live stream. There's a few games I really want to do on live stream, um, but this is probably the one I want to do the most. That and Blood Money, I think. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do the original version, not the special edition. <laughs> oh, uh, PNC, good to see you. Yes, I love it. That is a difficult level, though. It really is. But, of course, you do have checkpoints. <clears throat> uh, yes, Gumji, I'm going to play it again, because last time I played it, I was drunk. And that poor game got annihilated for the wrong reasons. Weird dreams. You've got to try and play that as well, haven't I? Holy moly, Jamie. Right, I'll be back in a minute. That is my high score. There we go. Uh, that's when I did my long play. I love the fact you can save the scores on this 1200. Couldn't do it in the 500. Well, I don't think you could, anyway. Please, can we finish this today? I want to finish this on stream. PMC, good to see you, by the way. No, no, Jamie. Left while playing an awesome track. I did. I didn't want to leave it on a non happening screen. No, I, I haven't burnt a, do you know what, I haven't burnt a pizza for quite some time. I'm actually on a very, very good run at the moment. 
but then I'm not eating as much pizza as I used to. Um, I mean, last month I was pretty much living on very cheap microwave meals. You go to Sainsbury's, 69p. There we go, done. Next. As the Brimble, amazing, yeah. Fly the planet Rix, locate the strongholds, destroy alien, navigate the cavern, rebel and enforce, and terminate the planet. One go only, Jamie. One go only. If we don't do it, we don't do it. But let's give it one go at least. I'll try. I have done it many times, but not on stream. Really, I bought it too after Jamie played it first on stream. What game was that? Oh, uh, Weird Dreams. Yes, I've got a box version over there. That is so difficult. It's not a long game. That's the frustrating thing about it. It's not long. You can do it in 20 minutes. It's so difficult. It's so many things you can watch out for. Um, right. Now I put the keyboard fairly close by, so I'm going to be using spacebar. Not the joystick waggling technique. Destroy wave for a power up. Let's see how we do today, Jamie. But sometimes I do use it. It does help sometimes. Power up. Right. And of course, this game is difficult. It's, it's really, really difficult game, but it is doable. I have done it. Plasma. But plasma is what I always go for. Unless I select the wrong one by mistake. And that's normally if I commit suicide then, at that point. Of course, this version, it's an extended level. Um, level 2 is also an extended level. All the other levels after that are not extended, but you do lose weapons a lot quicker on this one. You start off with weaker weapons on this one. Um, it's just a really good game. Like Mr. Raw has said many, many times, it's, just, it's, it's a perfect shooter. map cannot fault this one. Apidia can't fault it. Agony can't fault that one. R-Type can't fault that one. Zed Out can't fault that. Swiv and Silkworm, again, I can't fault them. There's, there's some really, really perfect shoot -em ups on the Amiga. They're not all perfect, some have their flaws. But there are some really, really top of the range shoot -em ups on the season four, uh, Amiga and Season 4. Pringles! Once you pop, you can't stop. Yeah, the Shoot Master. Well, I hope so. Can't fault this game. Well, you may be. <laughs> you probably don't like it. Banshee, of course. Yes, forgot about that one. <laughs> Yes, how can you forget about that one, Jamie? That is AGA. Right. Sorry. I don't like that joystick waggle, no. Last time I streamed this, I got to level 3, I was doing really, really well. Basically, what happened was, I was trying to avoid bullets, and I moved forward and back very quickly, and that selected the laser beam. And of course, that messed it up for me. That really, really messed it up. And uh, I lost all my weapons after that. Because I was trying to get that stealth. I need one more power to get the stealth. And uh, I don't recall that in the other days. I was always using spacebar. But I had no idea that that worked. But, yeah. I know there are some cracked screens, I think. Well, they actually, they actually deactivated it. You can deactivate it. But I'm not going to do that. I don't use cheats. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we do. Missiles are very handy. I didn't tend to select them in the early points in the old old days. <sighs> but they're just as powerful as the plasma. Go, go, go. I'm going. <laughs> now, the only time to get additional lives is the bonus stages, but only if you collect the six icons now and make it successfully through the level. Favourite PD game? I don't know actually. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I've got a favourite really. I mean there's so many I've not played. There really is. <sighs> don't miss the plasma Jamie. It's very important in a game like this. It takes about, I don't know, two, three at most. Lose 
three lives lost, you're back to base here. You're back to the... You're back to pea shooting territory. Select now for homing Power up. Just keep Power topping up. it up. Feel the force! Select credit for bonus weapon. Speed up, speed up. Yes. Don't feel pressure, Jamie. We're gonna end up on an X today. I don't know about that. Are you gonna try? All I can do is my best. Now I have played this with Ant Stream, and it's got a really horrible lag delay on that one with the joystick. It's, it's really it ruins the experience. Um, This, it, this, this bit doesn't appear on the special edition. This is a really mean bit to have for a first level. I'm sure it's doable without stealth, but I've never done it. Um, you've got to have some serious dodging skills. The trouble is, it's like it doesn't, they don't die with one bullet. But, yeah, stealth is essential here. Stealth. Oh. It's off. Next check boss. <laughs> yes, there are a few of those. <laughs> that's a stain, that's a that's a, a stain at stain now, isn't it? <laughs> ah. Yes, they do like that. I remember Lee Robertson saying that ages ago. They do look like pepper shakers. And there's one, there's, there's enemies in level three that do look like pepper shakers and also do look like peppers before you've crushed them up. Yes, yeah, they do. Limited to three on screen at once. But it's level two, which is the biggest problem for me. If I can get through it without dying, and Mr. Raw, if you're watching or playing it or watching it back, it's the bit towards the end we got those balls. I mean, that is the bit where I tend to hesitate. Do you use stealth there or do you not use stealth? If you don't use it, you've got a good chance of beating the boss. But sometimes I do use stealth there and then risk it for a biscuit, but. You don't want to die on the boss and start downgrading your weapons. That's what we don't want to be doing. Yeah, ant string. Yeah, but you get a horrible delay. Um, yeah, a bit of lag on the joystick. And I can't play this game with a controller. I've tried. I can't do it. So I had it on. I've got it on the C32, and of course I used the controller, and I just don't like it on the controller. It's joysticks for the win. Good start! Good start! Anyone know if these games are on Antrim? Yes, this one is, yes. Yes it is. I like your icon by the way, I just noticed it. You're, you've got the Amiga the workbench with a, a thumb. That's cool. Yeah, go for it. You can play this on Antrim, yeah. But there is a slight lag with the controller. But don't... I don't want to put you off of it. It's, it's still good fun to play. X8 bosses can only be beaten by the Spatula Force. That is a fantastic saying. I love that. That is superb. Uh, get it on a badge. That'd be superb. Um, Silkworm and R Type are my favourite, as you mentioned. Yeah, R Type is my all time favourite. Both C64 and Amiga. And the reason why I love R Type so much, it was the first shoot em up, the first shoot em up I played. And it just blew me away. And. Uh, Shoot 'em ups ever since that day have always been my favourite game genre. But yeah. So yeah, if it wasn't for our side, yeah, who knows what my favourite genre would have been. But again, I don't think I can't remember when we did well. I think it was a friend that bought it round, I'm sure it was. But it wasn't long after that I bought it and 
Eventually, I bought it on the C64. I didn't even realize it was on the C64. I bought it from Hanson Valley Shopping Centre. It was John Menzies. Like it's so amazing what you remember. And yes, you've got to change the car, uh, cassettes around, but they're just retro for you. It's a nostalgia of it. Oh, but David Jensen, you're here, buddy. I thought you'd be here for this one. <laughs> How are you doing? Have you, have you taken the top score again? Didn't mean to ask you that. Yeah, sometimes it gets taken away from you. You think, right, I must get that back. I must get my first place back. It's taken from me, I must take it back. So you've got to be so careful in this game when you're trying to dodge things. You want to activate that weapon by mistake. But yeah, I mean, this one does have a slight bug, which of course was rectified on the special edition with the side shot. But only the down one, not the top one. Um, but yeah, I got this in 1993, I think, with the other 12 games I got for Christmas. That was the second best Christmas I've ever had. And yeah, my, my dad, I don't think he saw me for the rest of that day. I was just playing Amiga all day. Again, this, I think this is the first one I played after opening all those games. Now or I don't think I'd played a demo at that point. I just saw it in a magazine and wanted it so badly. Oh dear. <clears throat> Come on, Jamie, please, 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 please. Select now or stealth. I don't like being here. I don't like being here. I don't like doing it like that, but yeah, I was forced into position, I had to. I was sort of thinking, shall I use stealth? No. Yeah, that was, it was, it was, oh, my, the face, on, the smile on my face was like a joker. I was so happy. My dad paid, brought them all by cash, he paid cash for the whole lot. He just, oh, what a, what a Christmas that was. Right, okay. <clears throat> Bullet hell, yes. Absolutely. Select now for power up. So level three is again a difficult oh. level if I get there. Um, um, but as soon as you start losing weapons, that's when I tend to sort of now go a bit peak on. Shoot master. <laughs> The only time you use Builder is you're not using your auto fire, which of course is the default setting. How do you fool to play this game without that? The Builder's not that good. This has got its advantages, but not many. You've got to charge it up, basically. It's like a beam. Sort of. Just go for this. Just keep your finger on the button and go for it. That's the way to go. Tornadoes? Should know this off the back of my hand now, this level. Select now for Magma. Better not to die, no. Lose all the, no, don't lose these upgrades. No. But yeah, the, the, again, like I said earlier on today, it's that ball section. Select now for Magma. If you gamble, it, it's, it's a risky gamble. But it pays off if you can get through it without using the stealth. Such a different moment because it's completely utterly different from the enemies you've seen before on this level. Beware, storm. Um, here, these. This is the bit. This is just a difficult moment. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't. Select now for stealth. Ah! Wow! Wah! Wah! My lord! Heart was in my mouth! Ugh! Yay, yay, yay! Right, okay, it's on. Should be on. Should be on. 
That's a horrible section, it really is. Oh lord. Just don't lose it, Jamie. Don't lose it now. I've, this boss has killed me so many times. It's like the fifth level boss of our uh, set out. Select it's now killed me so many out. times. Trouble, every time it kills you, your weapon's downgrade. It's going to make it much more difficult. Oh. Right. That was close. Select now for stealth. That was heart in my mouth moment. Hands are shaking like there's no we have no idea, guys. Oh poo! I didn't do that! Oh no! Stealth is activated! I didn't do that! Quick! Quick! Again, the joystick waggle! Oh, I don't believe it! Ah! Stealth is off! I didn't want to! I didn't want to let them run out yet! It's got some difficult... Oh, my lord! Come on! The trouble is its movements is never the same! Woohoo! Yes! Please with this! Yes! What a great Christmas! I wanted this too! It's better not to die in this game, you need those upgrades! Holy mocaroni! Right. Good, 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 good. Let's go. Let's go. Six items to pick up. Okay. Go down. Right. Take it nice and steady, Jamie. Let's go. Hey! Whoa! Let's go. <laughs> okay. Straight on. Again, amazing moments. I mean, this is tremendous. Go up. I mean, it's not 100% accurate with the directions. Okay. I have tried um, to just follow him 100%. But yeah, it's not 100% accurate, but it's not far off. Straight up. Go down. Go up. Yeah! Oh, I didn't get him though. Spat, spat, spastic joystick waggle doom. I like that saying too. Got some good sayings in this today's stream. I hate it when you cut. Yes, I hate it when you. When it would select a weapon by. Yeah, exactly. Which is. It, it, I have to admit, it never happened in the old old days. Maybe once. I just thought it was a glitch somewhere, but yeah. Oh! Um, I was here to witness this. Boo boo pow! Flaming birds! Alright. Don't select anything by mistake, Jamie. I don't like this bit. I mean, there's three sections when this happens. Help the fat Jamie, your hands are shaking like it's no tomorrow. <laughs> I ain't getting that. Are you a fool to get that? No, I ain't getting that. That's a biscuit I'm not risking for. Right. Pepper! There you go, pepper. And also, heat seeking missiles are useless here. Because they're going down below, that's what they're doing. Go. So yeah, missiles, there's no point in having on this level. And of course that's the same missiles used in Alien Boots. <laughs> ah! 
Jamie, what's this? What's, what's, what's that? Save that beast too. That's quite some time ago we did that, wasn't it? I'll be out of practice. Whoa, I'll be out of practice now. I suppose the homing missiles will help here a little bit. Ah! I didn't do that. It's done it again, isn't it? Why did you do that? Oh, I've got stealth again. I didn't mean to do it. Oh. That waggling thing. I don't recall that in other days. Oh my lord, it's so close! It's so close! Woohoo! Get out of there, Jamie! Get out of there! Get out of there! Now, one time I died here, there was this little glitch here somewhere, and I got killed. Do you get the occasional glitches from time to time? Ugh. Whoa, Beast 2 I have done. I have done on stream. This I haven't done on stream. But this is a marvellous achievement. To do this on stream, I'm pleased with that. I'm tickled, tickled pink with that. But we need to get that stealth. I'm trying, mate. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I have a... Ooh, hang on a minute. Like about a plastic colon. I've never heard that before on the stream. Whoa! Next stream before. Don't activate the stealth gears. Down that drain. You haven't said that for ages. Remember that? I have a, a, plas a spastic colon. Always known as an irritable bowel syndrome. That passes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Select now for stealth. Right. Select now for stealth. Done. <sighs> How it's nail biting stuff. That was it. That was the one. That was the one. Oh. No, no, no. I don't want to lose. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I've lost stealth, lost stealth, lost stealth. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's it. No, 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 no. Oh, that was looking good. That was looking too good. We're not pea shooter yet. We're not far away. So don't die anymore. And it's shrugging to beat these. I need a lot of birds. More birds you see at a nightclub. Oh, my lord. Oh, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Oh. Don't do that's it now, that's the final now in the coffin, I think. Oh, I don't believe it! Why does it have that setting? Oh, really? Look, I'm pea shooter now! I'm not trying to fit two bosses with pea shooter. Oh, I don't believe it. I've only ever defeated this bosses with out stealth once. No, twice actually. I'm not going to do it with this. Right, okay, let's just, just go for it. No, oh, I don't believe it. Victor Melju, how many times did I say that? Well, I can't believe that, and... Oh, I don't believe it. 
Mm. Well, I'm still a superstar. It's the joystick waggling thing. The trouble is, you're trying to dodge bullets. Dodging requires you to move the joystick around. But it activates weapons at the wrong time. 185,600 is the current top score on Antstream. Take back your title. Oh, really? Have I got it? Have I? How this guy can read chat, talk and play for the X, God knows how. <laughs> Good effort. Oh, I don't believe it. Right, anyway, I did say one go. We'll try again in the future. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't recall that joystick waggle in the old, old days. I don't know why they put that in place. Uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. It's not to be. Right, first samurai, why not? Let's go for a little bit of that, you know, shall we? Woo! Uh, do it again, do it again. <laughs> um, no, well, we'll see. <laughs> well done so far. Thank you, Andrew Stubble, I appreciate it. Just popped over to Xiphone after. Oh, you play marbles again. Okay, um, let's move right over to here, because this one, unfortunately, is right at the end. It's called First, but it's at the end. It's at the end. I agree, get on Ant stream and reclaim your crown if you get time. Do you think you would have won it if it wasn't for that joystick waggle activation? I don't know. I don't know. I think it was looking likely I might have got past that level, but don't know. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You probably play tested that game using the Atari joystick, so it didn't delete, detect most of the moving. Ah, never mind. Never mind. It's an honor watching the Beastmaster. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Now this game, like I say, last time I played it, I was absolutely drunk off my face. And in fact, I actually deleted that stream because I was just embarrassing myself. And I was playing this game, I just couldn't get anywhere. And I kept trying and trying and trying. I kept, Jamie, you're embarrassing yourself. You're... I want to play it properly now. I don't want to play it drunk off my face. I can't get far in this game. <laughs> okay, cue the awesome music. Uh, questions, I've got any questions. Uh... Seven more, don't I? Hmm. It is, it's superb, isn't it? It's a long game, though. It's a long game. In vivid image, stunning new development, a young warrior seeks vengeance in the future for beyond his own. In ancient Japan, he saw his people and his master slaughtered by the demon king, swearing revenge. A young warrior invoked the power of the wizard mace. Mage. And followed the demon king across time and space. Now in 2323 AD, the young warrior finds his country ravaged by the demon king's hordes. Armed with the intensive teachings of his master and the wizard mage, the mystical swords, he has embarked upon a, a one-man crusade from which he... Pardon me. From which he is no turning back. Death and dishonour in an consolation for failure but he will not fail for the first samurai a vivid image production in conjunction with image work yep he was yep he has yep he 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 he's but I always watch the stream first don't tell him oh Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. Yes, getting drunk is quite a comical thing, but that one in particular, I was just stupidly drunk. I was just embarrassing myself. I thought, Jamie, you're trying to promote yourself, not demotivate yourself. Let's prove to the world that you are a better gamer than this. But there are a few ones on my stream where I'm a little bit tipsy, and that's fine. I've, I've left them in place. I'm not overly bad on that one. <laughs> Right, first time why? Okay, copyright 991, Vivid Image. Thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Vusty James. 
Right, so let's see how we do. Now, it's, it's, it's one of those games. Uh, again, I didn't own a box in the old, old days, but it's a very, very difficult one to master. There were so many things in this game I didn't understand. Um, but anyway, let's try and get past level one. Will we get to level three? I don't know. We'll certainly give it a try. Now, you replenish your energy by picking up food. Now, some of them are hidden in chests, some of them are hidden in the stage. Now, these stars, this is the thing I didn't quite understand. Now, when you've got a certain quantity of magical energy in your sword, then it actually reveal itself. Now, you can hold one at a time, but also you've got to get these bells. The bells will allow you to, to activate spells. Very important spells to, to make paths against things, or stuff like that. But you've got to try and keep these enemies at bay. Every time you kill an enemy, a little bit of energy goes towards your sword. And when your sword is actually maxed out, then yeah, that's going to work to your advantage. We have these checkpoints, which you use parts of your energy for your sword to activate. And you can use those at any time you like. Um, but also, there's lots of areas where there are secret areas. Now, you're using your sword in a bit like myth, and you can do it in all different directions. But I didn't actually realise you can pick up a bell as well as a special power. I know that sounds silly, but I didn't know that. So I was always limited how many things I pick up. Um, but anyway, avoid this crazy guy. Now, you'll also cling to the walls. That's a very, very good thing. But there's no time limit in this game, which is superb. And the music is superb. Slice is superb. <laughs> it's in your arm, is it? Without a hand, yeah? So, we've got to try and get... Logs. Now, each level has a certain thing. You select a certain quantity of items. In this one, we need logs. You need four of them to make it across the chasm. Uh, the second level, you need to find pots of water, which allow you to put the fire out. But let's do it one level at a time, shall we? Well, I love the sound effects. But anyway, we have number one. This is log number one. I believe it's five in total. But all you need is four. There we go. Special ability. Poached and successfully picked up. Right, so you've got to try and remember where these bells are. They play a big part in this game. So you can also teleport by picking up potions. Uh, right, change of plan, go get some food. <laughs> right. Food replaces your energy. Right. <sighs> okay, get out of there. That's actually a bell, you hold down and fire. That's actually a special power, you press and hold the fire button down. Um. Let's just try and take it one stage at a time. Now, if you don't use the food, the food will stay there. Right. Now, this one I've got at the moment is some sort of, I don't know, spiky orb or something. It will attack nearby enemies. This is my, this is my exact arm for the HUD at the bottom. Uh, it's not my arm, it's a chicken leg. That's your energy. The arm is your energy. Um, now, if you lose a certain quantity of magical energy, then you lose your sword. Again, save the food for when you need it the most. And they have four lives. You can earn additional lives from score. I don't actually mean to do that. The first time I saw this was on that video which I mentioned that I bought from a boot fair called Click. The first ever time I saw Moonstone. I saw it on there. And again, it blew me away. Um, but it took me quite some years to actually got this. Now, I don't know what these do. I thought this allowed you to pick up the bells or find out if the bells are there. I don't know what its purpose is. I looked in the manual, I couldn't see anything. But anyway, we got to use bell number one on here to put out the fire. Um, right. It's not easy to... <clears throat> The pal. Right, cue the rain. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Russell James. Appreciate it. So what I'm gonna do now is go back in time a little bit and go and get another bell. Um, one bell you can hold at a time. Whew. Is it? Is the is audio okay? Is it behaving itself? It's all right for me. The bar's going up and down. That's a good start. Uh, up here is a chest. But yeah, you can hit in multiple angles, even use your feet. Uh, 
But when you lose your sword, you've got to try and collect enough spirits. I think there's spirits to get your sword back. Press down. And activate. Yes. Some things are hidden around the areas. So yeah, smash the stage up and just yeah. Now if your sword, I think if your sword is maxed out, then that that will activate it. So at the moment of time, I can't pick it up. So you got to collect some more uh, spirits, I suppose. And eventually, once you've got the right quantity in your possession, it should be allowable to pick up. Um, yeah, superb animation. So there we go. We can now got it. There we go. Um. Quest for the missing logs continues. Yeah, Myth. Myth is superb, yeah. Again, long played it. Yeah, it's superb. Yeah, got that in the old days after playing a demo and I was blown I was again blown away by it. It took some getting used to though. Um because the the demo I had, I didn't actually realise how you select weapons in that game. So of course I never got past it. I never could get past that devil. Cat animation, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. How are we doing, viewers, people? How are we doing? Mind you, it's quite. Oh, blimey, it's half past 11. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Um, right, so it doesn't put out all the flames, but certainly makes it a little bit more easier for you. But you can still be burned to a crisp. So you pick up swords. And actually, you pick up three if you pick up three and use all of them at the same time. Thank you very much. You can pick up the axe and the mace. I don't think it's actually called a mace. I don't know what it's called. Right. Well, I tend to go for the axe here. Jump from there to there. And use it with the frog. Love the sound effect. It is superb. I love it. Um... Right, we need to find another log. We've got the bell, that's fine. So let me go. Let's use that. Try and get it through try and get through it as fast as I can. Has anyone completed this game before? How far has people got in this game before? Super. Chaotic Knight, what are you doing this weekend? You playing any games this weekend? Fuel my sword, man! Have some of that. Right, um... Okay, should be... Hallelujah! Exactly! Right, it's down. Should we go for the three blades? Let's go for the three blades. Uh, again, didn't know that in the old days. But yeah, if you've got all three of them, you can use them all at the same time. You get to the rain, yeah? In the old, old days, I, I I didn't understand any of this game. I didn't know how you did all that. So yeah, again, I never got far. I was just going backwards and forwards, not getting anywhere. But yeah, it's, it's like, again, it's, it's takes some time. Just keep playing away and just eventually get the hang of it. That's what, what makes these games so good to play. You know, to this day, I'm still learning about these games. I'm still trying to complete these games. It's just, that's the difference between retro and modern. I can, I can play retro like there's no tomorrow. Modern occasionally. Right, pick up chicken leg. <laughs> but enemies will keep on respawning, but I suppose it's not a bad thing because you need to try and top up that spirit level, don't you? Uh, that kills everything on the screen. Down there is a log. Yes, it burns you a crisp, but I can't know. I can't. I don't know how the other way around it. But food is, is fairly frequent. So that's not too bad. Hallelujah! Google eyed flying frog fish. <laughs> That is cool. I love these crazy sayings. I love it. Right, hold the fire button down. There's some food around here. I'm sure there is food around here somewhere. We need food. Avoid the mines. That will drain your sword. You lose too much and you lose your sword. Get up. 
I think the quickest I've done this first level is 19 minutes. Uh, so we've got the bell, that's fine. Right, we've got break here. <clears throat> Alright, let's break the wall. I <laughs> love that saying, do what I find fogfish. I was saying that more tipsy. If I had one more beer, I probably would have been. Not today, I'm not getting drunk today. I ain't getting that. No way. Points helps towards his life. I think we've got two logs so far. Some are quite difficult to get to. Some of them just need a little bit of breaking walls. No hand holding in retro games like you do nowadays. I don't buy many uh, modern games. I bought one recently. I bought. Uh, oh, it's here. I bought the new uh, and it's kid that arrived today. I bought it. Yes, no. I bought it two days ago after getting paid. Yeah, it wasn't really expensive, but yeah, I'm looking forward to playing that, because I love the original and its kids. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing that. Didn't treat myself much last month. Um, but, uh, but I wanted that. I really wanted that. But yeah, don't buy many modern games. But yeah, I think that and... R-Type Funnel 2 are the only ones I bought in the last three months. Right, we've got the bell! There we go! Reading the bell. It's pretty good, yeah? Superb. We've got oranges, meat, carrots, and chicken legs. I wish I bought Alex Kid, saw it for $17.99 on PlayStation 5 and passed it. Kicking yourself. Well, that was, uh, that was Amazon. About £21, I think I paid for it. Can't argue with that. Pikachu! I see you! Hello! Whoa! Hello everybody! Good to see you! Hello to France! <laughs> How you doing? Neptune, good to see you! How you doing? Um, yeah, buy it! Buy it, mate! Treat yourself! Why not? Right, three logs found. One more to go. There is more than that, but you only need four. Four makes a perfect bridge. Ugh, what's the weather like in France? Is it better than over here? It's chucking it down over here. Not about now, but it certainly was your early on day. Okay, boom. Pow. This game also has boss battles. Um, I mean, all different shapes and sizes. They always do, don't they? Uh, but yeah, I don't know what this thing does. I can't see it in the manual. I don't know what it is. It's a mystery. Um... So, we go up here. This is game is so much easier to play when you're not drunk. Right? Break the platforms. There's log number four. There you go. It's like arachnophobia, isn't it? But each one I kill is getting more... Yeah, it's helping my sword. I'm gaining the sword. Right, there we go. Super. What we're trying to do now is use it. But we need another bell. There's one up there. I don't know how you get to it. Let's pick up the axe. Um... So yeah, there is quite a lot of... Backtracking. Bell, bell, bell. There's a bell. I need a bell. Um, that's really cool. Wish I had been there to hear. Still have the occasional bash on Alex Kid World One. The only bit I don't like about it is is the is the evil Pegasus of Stone. I'm sure there is a way, an easier way around there. I'm sure there is. In fact, I know there is. There is. There is a. a, a there is a sequence to it. But we didn't figure it out in the odd old days. Doing fine, Jamie. Despite the current... Yeah. 
Have you got have you got both your jabs yet? Right, over here there should be one. There you go! Right. You go to the top end, yeah? Yeah, glad you're right. Glad you're okay. Yeah. Apart from the, yeah, the situations that happen. Ah! Apart from the situations happening in the world, which has been going on for far too long. Will it ever end? I don't know. I hope so. Down there. Down there. Should we pick up that? Why not? Home's in on nearby enemies, isn't it? Right, okay. We've got the bell, we've got the logs. Angie's alright. Saul is okay. What more can we possibly ask for? Uh, just try not to take too many hits. Go, go, go. Right, energy, Jamie. We need energy. Um, it's got to be some energy around here. It's a banana. It's not going to do a lot of energy refilling, but it's, it's better than nothing. That dex looks awesome. Um, I'm coming back on my Steam game purchases. I'm putting the money towards the Steam Deck. I'm not sure what Steam Deck is. I mean, I know there's a... There's a I think I might know what you mean. Uh, there is some sort of deck you can get for OBS, but I don't know if that's what you're referring to. You've got little buttons. You press the buttons for additional sound effects and scenes, that sort of thing. Right, okay. Um, boss. Right, hit him repeatedly in the face. Now, I'm active. I've activated the mace as well. So, yeah, a little bit of additional hits. When he gets reasonably close, he should home in. There you go! He's mad, isn't he? This might be quite loud. Slow at typing. No worries at all. No worries at all. Trouble is, if I type fast, I make lots of typos, and I hate making typos. <laughs> that should be it! There you go! See, Jamie, when you're not drunk, you can do it, you see? That drunken stream, I think I had about three attempts, I couldn't get anywhere. Don't stream and drink, Jamie. Well, yes, you can drink, just don't drink too much. Just take it a little bit at a time. <laughs> It might sound a bit crazy on your headphones if you're listening to them. It does sound crazy here. But yes, the uh, the dragons have been used a few times, haven't they? It scare you as a kid. It's not scaring you now, is it? But yes, first samurai and second samurai. I mean, I didn't realise that second samurai was published by Psygnosis. But yeah, a completely different game. The levels are shorter. It's more into the combat side of it, isn't it? This one's more the puzzle side of it. But in second samurai, of course, you get the books. The books do different things. Just read. Well, Jamie, you're not going to sleep tonight. I've just drunk a whole bottle of Lucasade. You bought it today. Alright. But I was playing, I was playing Project X earlier on today. My hands were shaking. You love the sounds of the monster. Yes. It's better when he dies, though. Cut his neck in half. There we go! Level 2! Let me go! Have some of that, Gumbio! Yes! Right! 10 to midnight. Right, passwords! I have it. Should we do it properly? Let's do it properly. Type in number for N33. Yes. N33. There you go. I love it. I love it. Um, N33. Don't have to do this, but why not? Oh, four, six, seven. Enjoy the game, man. I will do indeed. There you go. Raiden lookalikes. 
for the hats. No, I'm dr no, 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 I'm drinking Lucasade. And I was only going to have one glass. I've actually dropped the whole bottle. So yeah, probably won't sleep to me. Right, anyway, what we've got to try and get here is not only lots and lots of bells, but we've got to try and get jars of water. So again, we're playing like Tiny Slug over again. Looking for water. But for a different reason this time. In Tiny Little Slug, we're picking up jars of water to replenish our monsters first. Here, we're doing it because we've got to put out the fire. You can't see yet. With the Vita at the end of the live of the deck stream deck, We'll cover that air. I thought that was Iron Brew. No, it's not Iron Brew. <laughs> not Iron Brew. Probably quite similar in colour, I expect. I am drew a cup of tea, though. I've had a cup of tea for about two hours. I need to get myself a kettle in here. A streaming kettle. Or hire someone to make tea for me. Right. You still got weird dreams to play, Jamie. Jamie, you're not going to get through all the games on the list. You put too many on the list today. We're not going to play ATR either. I might have moved that to the next stream. Again, there's enemies all over the place. Things can be hit, things can be uncovered, including a basket of fruit found in the ceiling. There you go. Um, but yeah, bells. Look for bells. But you know what I was I never got far in this one. I, could, I was dying all the time. I was just wasn't good at it. Lots of lots to think about in this game. So we need a bell here, but unfortunately we don't have one. Flying the subway with sword with their bare hands. These guys are dauntless. So there's the first one, but we can't get it because we don't have a bell. But we're gonna blast our way through. Um, now this is a wall. It can be break by standing on it. It'll crumble beneath you. Yes, oh no, it's my phone. <laughs> yeah, notifications on my phone is activated and uh, you hear lemmings. My ringtone is Supercast 2 and has been for about 10 years. Even my old phone. Uh, notifications is lemmings. And my message tone is Crash Bandicoot. There you go, we have a bell. Just don't tell everyone. Yes, even my phone is retro. Part of it anyway. Okay, jump there to there. Yeah, I love lemmings. Absolutely so. There you go, ring a ding dong. Let's sing a song. There's the path. Good point, Daishi. It's the perfect fit for that segment. Right, another one up there. There you go. I'm guessing there's limited how many there are per level, but yeah, I, I, you can't. I don't think you can use them accident. I don't think you can use them accidentally. There's one up there. You only got to use it in the air where the face is. That's like a, that tells you where you can use it. Yeah, I love Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. I've still not bought Crash Bandicoot 4 yet, but again, that's going to be modern. It's going to be a long game. We'll get round to actually finishing it. I don't know. Maybe it's a streaming. I don't know. It might be an easy way of doing it. I don't know. Maybe. If games are longer to complete, stream on Twitch or something. Has anyone ever completed First Samurai? No. I can get to level 3. But yeah, the game, the, the game is quite long. But yeah, if you know your way around, then yes, of course, you can get through the levels very quickly. It helps, you know where the bells are, and where the water is. Uh, but yeah, I believe... I believe they're both very long. I don't even know how many levels there are. Um, I don't think it tells you on the box. Probably less in this one than it is on the second Samurai, because of course the second Samurai levels are very short. Uh, you say. Damn it, it's five to midnight. <laughs> We're going to have to sacrifice one of the games on the list. What do you want to see? Do want, we'll, we'll do one more game. Do you want to see Weird, dream, wasted, weird Dreams or ATR? I'm going to have time to play both of them. <laughs> Just went a little bit too extreme. Um, up there is another bell. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello, Sean. How are you doing? Right, bell. Superb. 
Yes, yeah, so we're playing one this time. But I'm on level two, which is going well. Right, so we've got another platform to uncover with a bell. We also do need to find that. Ugh! I'm gonna die. It's crazy, isn't it? The fire, the water was in the fire. I had to collect the fire, go into the fire to pick up the water. Something not quite right there, is there? You would have thought the water would put out, the fire would be put out by the water. Weird dreams. <laughs> do you know what? I'm quite tempted to put both in there. Oh, what's happened? Oh, I never leave that. First death. Um, I had no idea you were on last Friday of the... No, it's one on, one off. Uh, one stream on, one stream off. Basically, I'm not streaming on the late shift. And this week, I'm early shift. Unless you haven't clicked on the bell icon. Well, I'm standing on the bell at the moment of time. Click the bell icon. Yes, you'll be notified of it immediately. You should be. <laughs> AGR Weird Dreams, AGR Weird Dreams. It's a 50 50 shower at the moment of time. So you can just play both of them. Just put the. We'll see what we do. Alright, uh, Bell. Pick up the bell, Jamie. We'll, we'll do, I think we'll do Weird Dreams next. <laughs> uh, oh, Jamie! Oh, poor guy, got third degree burns. You didn't check news. No worries at all, buddy. Hope you're well, though. Um. Right, five more minutes, we'll put the next game on. Uh, Bell, good timing. Yes, there's another, there's another one. I think we've got three now. Boom. Right, we go there. I don't know where all the secrets are on this level. But it helps you have a sword. You break for, I don't think you can. And again, it's another game with evil wasps. Um... Okay. Energy's not good. But yeah, where's the next bell? Where's the next water? Ha! How are you sure, by the way? Hope you're well. How's your week been? So yes, next next stream is not next week, but the week after. <laughs> That's how it's gonna work. Until I find myself a job that's not shift work. But yeah, I don't know if it's gonna happen anytime soon. Um, ah, woohoo, break away through. Okay. Now I've got to try and find the bit I need. Right, uh, that's a nasty way to go. Make yourself a cup of tea, Jamie, before playing next game. I might do. I might do that. I might just do that. That's a good idea, mate. Try and break down this Lucas in my stomach. Ooh. What are you doing this weekend in Heath? Did you manage to get your game gear fixed by the way? I didn't mean to ask you that, I keep forgetting. You said there's a problem with your screen. Um, right, if you can't find the next bit in five minutes, Jamie, you won't find it all. Um, yeah! No oh, way, I love the sound effects though. Take five. Yes. <laughs> um, where is the next one? I think. The trouble is, you. Uh, ah, hold on. Once you've got them, you need to go find another bell to use them. Which I don't approve of. But you don't want to use it here because you're going to waste it. You want to try and make sure you've got all four in your possession. I think I've only got three. So there's no point using it. I'd be wasting the bell. Um, where is the next pot of water? Not going anywhere for holidays this summer, Jamie. Mm, I'm not, no. I've got a week off next month. Um, might go for the occasional day out, but no, I won't be going abroad or anything like that. I don't even have a passport. Um, I've got to get myself a new passport. My, I've got to get my passport. And my new driving license is in the post. Pardon me. I needed my passport for my driving license, but I couldn't do it. I'd do it some other way. I need my passport to... Ah! This is it. I needed my passport for my ISA as well, my Halifax. So yeah, ISA's 
Uh, sorry, passports are good for many things. Without one, there's not a lot you can do. There we go! Right. So, brilliant. Now we've got to go and try and find the fire and put the fire out. We'll just summon the next boss. Um, I'm fairly happy with that. Jump in the tree. There we go. Oh yeah, I've already asked you, yes, I've already asked you that, haven't I? F1, of course. I remember you saying now. And you have fixed it, yeah? You did, oh, it's recapping, okay. Alright, so I think this is the right way, I think so. Oh, That's a horrible thing. Chase by that, go away. I am I what? It's good to see you. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, second summer is good. It took me a lot of many years to play it for the first time. Um, I think it's down there. I think it is. Never played it as two player though, but I bet that'd be good fun to do. Yes! <laughs> there we go! Here's some water. One, two, three, and four. There we go. I think I should try Second Samurai sometime soon. The first one is cool, but I have a lot of soft spot for the sequel. It's good, isn't it? It is good. The level's a lot shorter. Oh no, my god. Oh, that's mean. That is mean. Uh, okay. That did not work to my advantage. Alright, let's do it like this. The last time I did this, I had a sword in my hand. It's not a big, big boss, really. But you want to do it with a sword, Jamie, not your fists. So I might die here. No, Jamie. It's mean. You, you use your swords by using the teleport. Mind you, this is what you've got to do in Beast. Shadow the Beast. So we have to do it here as well. I must get a box version of Switchblade. Yeah, I do like that. But again, didn't play it in the old days. Hang it in there. I don't think I'm going to be going much longer. But again, no energy bars on boss battles. Right. Robot punching, yes. <laughs> it works. A lot more damage with a sword than you can your own fists. Come on. I will be victorious. It's okay, we're finding one that don't go low down. Like that one. Ugh. I love the sound effects when you make contact. Not that one though. Or that one. Die, robot spider! Come on! If I had a power up, that would be e a lot more easier. Poo! Oh, poo! No! Look at that energy bar, Jamie! Both are bad. Sword and your energy bar. Poo poo pow! Exactly! I said it quite a few times today. <laughs> Come on! Just die. If I had a sword, I probably would have killed you about two minutes ago. Come on! So we've got a sword to borrow, please. Punches and kicks. Yeah, I could do some kicks. Why not? Spice up a little bit. Yeah, smell my foot. <laughs> Have some of that. <sighs> this is like trying to kill the second boss of Project X with a pea shooter. It's going to take ages. <laughs> Woohoo! How 
how difficult and how time consuming was that? There you go. Next time, have a sword. Hallelujah, indeed. <laughs> there you go. Really happy with that. There you go. There you go. Two levels done on live stream. It's like punching an ATM. Exactly. There you go. Bonus brief coming up. Informing a battle that. So, yes, yeah, so it'll be yeah, like punching the mutated foot at the end. But no club this time. Outstanding. Thank you very much. There you go. Like I say, I don't even know how, levels, how many levels there are. I don't know. Does it say? Explore and conquer the vast, active, and interactive terrain of 24th century Japan and its fantastic physical and mystical dangers. Doesn't say. Doesn't say how many levels there are. Whoa! Jimmy getting killed, but it's fine. Okay. <laughs> there you go, there you go, have some of that. Right, um, uh, wasted dreams. Weird dreams, sorry, weird dreams. Have a go at weirded, weirded dreams. And like you awesome people have said, go make yourself a cup of tea, why not? Um, again, I probably won't get far, but <sighs> you never know. We could get lucky, you never know. Um, Ah, I see you. Top right corner. Mm -hmm. Now, Swedish House hates this game. <laughs> He's not here. So, we'll play it. Some enemies in the 20th century Japan. Yes. Is that what I said? Same? Yeah. Let's read it again. Um... Can't find it now. Explore and conquer the vast, active, and interactive terrain of 24th century Japan with its fantastic physical and mystical dangers. Discover the hundreds of bonuses and hidden features, a unique intelligent hint feature, and personalised access code system. There we go. I don't have a box version of the second game. Not yet. Cup of tea! Yes! I agree with that. And it's, in, it's not in shot, Jamie. Really. Right, let's put the Be Right Back screen on it. Get your cup of tea. I will do indeed. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Oh, hold on. We can solve that. I believe we can solve that. Copy. Browser. It might work. It might not. We'll, 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 we'll take a gamble here. There you go. It's not fantastic, but it works.
I have tea! Yes, I have tea! Tea time! Yes, that's... <laughs> yeah. I have to admit, I have adjusted that since putting that in place. So that is not actually the, the accurate one. So I've got to put the old one in there. Yes, a little bit of a change, why not? <coughs> there you go. Super difficult, extremely. Rainbird, how... Now, what did they do? Um, go get your cup of tea. Dream time. Let's take an easy gum view if you're going. Uh, oh, sorry, dream time. Here, sorry. Jimmy getting fancy with his new Be Right Back screen. Looks cool. Thank you, user. Hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Ooh, live arm um, of darkness. Show us your tea. I have it here. I won't tip it, go over my Omega. Tip. It's hot. Okay, right. We have tea. We have weird dreams. Let's go for it. Now this is unbelievably difficult. I had quite a few attempts on live stream. It right from the go. It is difficult right from the go. But then I've been playing quite a lot of difficult games on stream today. Um, it chucks you in the middle of a candy floss machine. What you're trying to do here, even though you probably know anyway, but I'll tell you anyway, everyone doesn't. You've got to try and get the candy floss to cling to your body without getting hit in the face by a gigantic stick. If you get hit in the face with a stick, your head explodes. You get a certain quantity stuck to your body. Do you look like the woolly mammoth? Jump onto the stick, provided it's not much candy floss on the stick, and land you stick to it, and then go up and something like that. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult. It is so difficult. Trying to get this cling to you. But the trouble is, if you take too long, it'll start to fall off. Uh, but you've got to watch out for that stick. Sometimes it goes clockwise, sometimes it goes anti clockwise. But yeah, if you get hit in the face, you're definitely going to know about it. Um, but once you've got a reasonable amount, you do need quite a, quite a few, you need three at least, and then jump out of there. Now this is on the CZ4, I've never played it on the CZ4, but... Pff, I don't know if it's going to be doable, I don't know, not that cheat, I don't cheat, that's the problem. Um, but yeah, you're hitting a face. I'd be hopeless at this. Once you've finally got enough on you, get out of there, then you've got to try and get a... I don't know what it is, like a ball, it's like an orb sort of thing, from a wasp. Um, but yeah, <sighs> right. We need candy floss, a lot of it. Um, that's not going to be enough. Um, one more should do it, one more should do it. Come on, cling, 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 there we go. Uh, yeah, you might need, yeah, it's, yeah. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, yeah. The trouble is, there's always whisk getting hit in the face by a stick. There we go, that'll do. Right, so, you've got to put one on the floor to get his attention. You've got to try and get him into this next screen. Wait until he starts to make his move, then go for it. There is a lot of luck here. Um... And I'm still trying to figure out what the best tactic is. One there, one there, one there. The more the better, gives you enough time to pick up the racket. Now you've got to try and hit him so he goes off the screen. Get off that screen! Nah. No, he should have gone off the screen. Unless he was too close to the side of the screen. That might be a possibility. Um, poo. Um, now, you can go back and have another go. Oh, poo! I didn't know I was going to do that. Oh, I don't believe it. The wasp and video. A little bit. Press the escape key and it exits the game. Completely. Right, okay, do it again. But yeah, that was where I was going wrong. I was trying to hit him, but you've got to try and hit him enough times to get him off the screen. But what I was doing wrong, you've got to time it right. I, I think the best time to do it is when he's actually consuming it. Not when he's about to. You've got to do it at the point where he's actually eating it. That gives you a bit more time. Um, 
But yeah, I hit him. How many times I hit him? About ten times? We need to kind of raid. That's what we need. They are enormous. Yeah, yeah, Not quite to the same stand as Soul, Soul of Solden. But yeah, they are big sprites. Oof. Right. <laughs> right, okay. Let's bring him on a little bit closer to that side of the screen, shall we? Alright, Jamie. Hello, Ox. Good to see you. Beetlejuice. Just don't say it three times. <laughs> or Beetlegeist. Right, quickly, quickly. Get off that screen! Get off that screen! No! There's a flaw to the system here! Go off that screen! That is very, very strange. Right. That's not right! That's not right! That should not happen! He should be knocked off the screen! Oh, we'll carry on anyway. We're not going to complete it anyway. Basically, you need all three orbs. Never mind, we'll go past it. We'll try and get the ball. Uh, so we're going to go to the right-hand side. Anyway. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. Well, no, that's not supposed to happen. You know what's going to happen. Right. We need a stick. We need to get rid of these evil... False teeth roses. We'll go with false teeth roses. Um, now, the first time I played this, I was getting killed all the time by these. I couldn't figure it out. Now, it's it, I can get past it, but this bit is challenging. So much luck here. Basically, we've got to try and play catch with this little girl. The trouble is, this little girl's got a blade in her pocket. But also, this football has a little bit of a twist to it. It's got a mouth. Now, if you pick it up while the mouth is visible, it will consume you. So you've got to be in the right place at the right time. You've got to pick it up at the right place at the right time. But if the ball goes past you, you can't do it. But what you've got to try and do is delay it enough times to make her move forward. Once she moves forward, then you throw it back at her and it consumes the little girl. Yes, you heard right. But she's a deadly little girl. She's got a blade in her pocket. She'll stab you and your head will explode. Hello to Tony. Good to see you. Hello, everybody. That wasp was damn creepy. Yeah, I'm not a fan of wasps. <laughs> I've never been a fan of wasps. Since I saw my brother get stunned by one in the other days, every time I see one, I run a mile. However, I've never been stunned by one, but the pain that he was clearly having when it happened, I will never forget that. Um, anyway, they weren't quite that big. Oh, I don't believe it. How are you supposed to know them? Know when? Well, that's the thing. That's what makes it very difficult. Um... But yeah, again, there's a lot of trial and error in this game. I th I thought, when I played it the other day, I thought I'd solved it. Um, because what I tend to do, or I was trying to do, should we say, is I tend to take a few steps forward, make her me throw the ball, then you back off. And I thought that if the ball was rolling and not bouncing, it won't eat you. But there was also another problem I faced, because when I threw the ball back at her, she missed the ball, and it went straight past her, and again, the ball goes past you or past her, he ain't going anywhere. But also, if you take too long here, you get mowed by a lawnmower. So, um, the more times it happens, the faster it happens, basically. So, again, it's trial and error. If you back off, it won't bounce as much. When it's rolling, the mouth doesn't tend to appear as often. But you've got to do it about three or four times, and then you hold on to it. But yet again, so much trial and error. See, like that, you see? It's so difficult. It's so... There's a lot of luck here. Psycho girl, exactly. Hitbox looks awfully random, though. 
Yeah, yes, basically, yes. But I can do it sometimes, not every single time. But yeah, the game itself is not a long game. <clears throat> now, I've been tempted to try out the CZ4 to see if that's as difficult as this. I don't know. I suppose you can do the levels any order you like. But you've got to get those three orbs. Which you use at the end of the level boss. Which is like a brain. Um, okay. So that kills those. 9%. It's not a lot. It's a little girl. How hard can it be? Right. Here's your ball. Have it back. This didn't happen when I played football in the old days. No, I haven't. No, I haven't completed it. No, no, no. Oh my lord! No, I just I searched it on YouTube. I didn't watch them. I just saw how long the video was, and they're about 21 minutes long. Um, I'm dead already. It's difficult on the CC4 as well, is it? Hmm. No, I didn't watch the long play, I just saw how long the long plays were. I think about three of them I saw on there. One was 19 minutes, one was 21 minutes. Well, I'm not surprised, it's difficult on the season 4 as well. But I would like to get a little bit further than this. I, I, I just love the game. The music, the weirdness, makes it up for knowing what to do. Rewarding, though. Yes, exactly. Sometimes the fun of it is trying to master it, trying to learn the mechanics of the game. It's just, it's just like when I completed... Uh, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts. The, the fun was it was trying to learn the game, you know. Getting that first time completion was a good thing. A bit like Del and Rodney becoming millionaires. The build up, the fun bit was trying to get to that point. And yes, here is exactly the same. The fun factor is trying to figure out what to do. In my case, trying to figure out why this wasp won't go off the screen. I hit him so many times. I'm surprised they give him a headache. The trouble is, you need enough space. You've got to put the racket down to pick up the orb. That's supposed to push him off the screen. And it's not. I don't know why it's not. That's what you're supposed to do. There you go! There you go! See? Boom! Pick it up! Get out of there! Yes! Now he's angry. Right, there we go. First bit done. How difficult was that? 4% done. Right, we have our first... Where is it? Where is it? Did I pick it up? Oh, I didn't pick it up. Oh, I thought I did. Did I leave it behind? Oh, did I... Do, oh, did I leave it behind? I, no. Oh, dear. Did I pick it up? I'm sure I picked that up. Oh, well. Done it anyway. <laughs> the combo counting shall be 3.5 right out. Take it easy. Take it easy, Heath. I'm sure I picked that up. It's not there, is it? It's supposed to be in that black box. Yeah, I thought I did. Hmm. Well, normally I break games. This one's just... Well, I didn't break this one. Ugh, never mind. Alright, well, you get the idea. <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe I've run off the screen too quickly. Because when you pick it up, it sort of goes... Into the air and you pick it up. Maybe I've just... It went off the air. Hmm. How... Okay. Right. I hope this girl will go in the air. I don't want to be eaten alive by a bouncy football. But yeah, if you hold on to it here, she won't edge forward. You've got to do it about four times. Just bounce up and down. Oh, 
One more should be okay. Come on, come on. No, Jamie! Oh, lost it. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, get stabbed in the brain. Oh. <laughs> Dear oh Lord Almighty, goodness me. See you on Vamp Streams. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. Oh, right. Well, it's all that been here, isn't it? Four lives, nine percent. I think it's four times. You do it four times, she'll start to edge forward. Then you hold onto the ball and you keep it. You keep hold of it. Let her get forward, closer to you, and then you throw it at her, and she gets eaten alive. That's the plan. It certainly spices this channel up a little bit, spices the stream up. Just random stuff happening. <laughs> Again, this is a game I didn't play in the old, old days. I never heard of it in the old, old days. I never even saw it in a magazine. I was quite surprised at the amount of magazines I had in the old, old days. In Union's Country Garden, which is never this deadly now, was it? Have you got a box version of this, Rusty James? I can't remember if you have or not. I know Andrews has. King Arthur has. Oh, one more, one more, come on! Come on! No! Jamie, you've done it again! Oh, poo! Right, the last one, Jamie. When you've done the fourth one, we're gonna have to just leave it, man. Thank you watching, thank you. <laughs> right, Jamie. Okay. The final one, don't edge forwards. It's a 50 50 shout. It's either gonna eat you or it's gonna eat her. Right, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. No, it's not supposed to go into the air. Well, it is, but it's supposed to go into the air and then go into that box above my three lives. That's where it's supposed to go. It's quite a big box, but you need to have three orbs in that box to complete the game. You just balls that up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I didn't know catch was so deadly. You used to be playing catch in the old old days. Who played Kirby in the old old days? Well, that's what we called it anyway. I know there's a game based on the same name, but a completely different story. What we did was, is one on either side of the road, and you bounce the ball as it hits the curb. If the curb bounces off the curb and you catch it, then you can you go into the middle, and that makes it easier for you. You've got to try and get to a certain amount of points. If it hits the curb and it doesn't, Bounce back and you catch it. I think you only get about one point. You get two points if you catch it. It was something like that. Um, right. Um, but again, it's memories. We love memories. Oh, curb. Is it curb? Curb. Curb C. Curb Z, Yes. Ah. Oh, I suppose everyone had their own rules, didn't they? But yes, if you caught it, you get two points. If it hits it and it rolls back, you get a point. But yeah, what we tend to do is, yeah, if you caught it, then you go into the middle of the road. So it gives you like about a metre and a half extra. Mess up, you go back to the start. <sighs> My brother wasn't happy with me though. I kept using his basketball and he, <laughs> I think eventually it got, it got punctured. He used it too much on that curb. It was a Charlotte's Hornets basketball. I don't even know why he had one. We didn't have a hoop to use it in any way. Going down. I'm not going to balls this up again. And you can also run. I don't know how you do it. And you can jump, but only on certain levels. Right, stay there, Jamie. Stay. 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 Like playing fetch with a dog. Stay. Stay. No! Right, one more. It's got to be one more then. Okay. 
Thursday. It's it's just so quick you can't time that well. <laughs> that didn't happen. That didn't happen in the Euro 2021, did it? Ugh. I'll certainly make Premiership a little bit more exciting for me. <coughs> right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, but I can't be blamed for this. Right. You can die in some really nasty way. You can be killed by Rosie. You can be killed by a lawnmower. You can be stabbed by a little girl. You get eaten by a football. Um, you get killed by a candy floss machine. Yeah, you can die in some really mean ways. Not all of them in an inch in this country garden, though. Dreaming about this tonight. That's the way to go. That's not the way to go. That's definitely not the way to go. Be an unusual way to go. Imagine that on your tombstone. Eaten alive by a football. Oh! I well, was eaten alive by a football. I ain't waking up from that. Dead meat. My lord, I just can't do it. Right, what we're going to do is, I'm going to have one more go, but I'm going to skip that bit and we'll go to the next screen. Because you can do that. It's not the way you should do it, but we're not going to long play it today. So, we'll do the first bit again. But we won't go to the English country garden, we'll go to the desert. Pick up a fish. And do some damage that way. Um, right, last go. If we get the orb, it'd be a bonus. But let's try and see something new. Oh, poo! Oh. Sadistic programmers. Yeah, I don't know a lot about um, Firebird. Is it Firebird? I don't know. I know very, very little about them. <laughs> well, very difficult in their own ways. But at least this one you have life. So, yeah, that's one thing that Shadow Beast 2 does not have. Candy floss. I've had it for years. Oh, Jamie, you stood up too early. Now I can't do this. <laughs> oh, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Now you're losing the will to live. Pick two fruits. Hello, Ox. Good to see you. How are you doing? Yes. Yes. You don't eat. Oh. Yeah, look after your teeth. It's very sticky, though, isn't it? Yeah, very, very sticky. Right. Trouble is, it will change direction every so often. But yeah, when it gets to that sort of thickness, you can't cling to it. It doesn't, that doesn't sound right, does it? Because you thought you would cling to it a little bit more, because there's more of it. It doesn't work like that. But yes, you can jump if you wish. I don't tend to do it like that. Because you, you, the trouble is, you jump, you're in the air for a very, very long time. And yeah, the trouble is, it will change direction. And as you've seen already, your head can explode. Look at me, look how many have got on me now. A Chewbacca. <laughs> Right, okay. Look at that, I'm wearing a fur coat. Right. Yes, I believe they did, yes, I remember that, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a few though, wasn't there? Magic Pockets was another one, we talked about that earlier on today. And I think there was that, that troll one, I can't remember its name. Hugo, isn't it? No. No. Oh, I don't believe it. Right, okay. Different area, different territory. Right, we're going to go through the mirror. 
Mirror, mirror on the wall. This way. Once you've done it successfully, the outer wall of sign will be removed, and then you can go in there. Right. Somewhere completely different. Now, what you're trying to do here is you've got to try and pick up a fish. You use fish as a weapon. Now, this is, again, is so difficult, but I think I'm making good progress, because I think all this time, I'm using the wrong attack move. And also, you've got to edge forward. If you don't edge forward, they'll keep you spawning. You've got to try and kill, move, kill, move, kill, and move. Make your way close to that edge, and they'll stop. Dead already. I had one go. Yeah. Sorry, people. Right, I'm going to call it a day in a minute. One more go, we'll call it a day. Yeah, <laughs> grab... Only in this game do you pick up a fish and smack enemies with it. Right, the last go, I'll call it a day. Let's just try and get past this with more life, shall we? I mean, imagine you playing this drunk. I'll get nowhere. Right, good, 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 perfect, right. Now the mystery orb. You don't want to go off the screen too early, because otherwise you won't follow. One there. I don't like wasps, but I'm being generous to you. There you go, there's three of them. Three caddy flosses. Fine, have it your way, Mr. Wasp. Uh... Get off that screen. You deserve that. Right, pick up the orb. We have the orb. Wait, 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 wait. It's there! Woohoo! There we go! Superb! Why didn't it happen last time? I don't know why. Right, we're gonna go to this left hand side. We've got the orb. And it's, it's the maybe. Maybe. Right, okay. Right, now we've got five lives. Now you've got many, many ways you can swing this fish, and that sounds really, really random, but I think that is the best way to go. Because not only can you hit them sweeping it down, you can also hit them sweeping it up. So there's more chances to hit them cleanly in the face. So I just find hold fire and up. Keep doing that, and there's a lot of luck here. But you've got to keep edging forwards. Otherwise, they'll just keep respawning. And that's what I've been going wrong. I keep standing in the middle of the screen. And they're not going away because you're not moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. But you can hit more than one with one hit. Brill. Yes. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward, Jamie. Keep moving forward. Oh, you see, there's so much luck. Now, you got that move. That trouble is you, you, you can't do it fast. I guess it's good for long range. Um, but I think that one, I'm painting, isn't it? Uh, it's the way to go, because you can hit him like that. And when you're coming back down, you can hit him again. So you get like a double way. Right. Pick up a fish. And this is not easy to pick up a fish. Pick up the fish, mate. <laughs> Please pick up a fish, mate. Pick up a fish. There you go. Right. Quickly, quickly goes it. Now, I believe you've got to do this three, maybe four screens. And then the enemies will change. Quickly, quickly goes it. Quickly, quickly goes it. Go, 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 go. There we go. Heart rate is okay. Yeah, it's... <laughs> you don't hear it on a daily basis, do you? Yeah, if you're going to use a fish, do it at short range. It's safer. It's easier. At least it's risky. Oh, 
Oh, you see, my head exploded again. Right, it's fine. I've got three more lives. I don't know what they are. I don't know. I, I don't know if it says it in the box. The box has got a, a, a manual, which just it's a really big manual, and it's got a lot of instructions, a lot of information. It's a long story. It's a complicated story. Right. Pardon me. Right. Oh, poo! I don't know what they are. They do they look like poos, don't they? They do look like poos. But again, you've got to try and get the orb. At the end of this level, there is another orb. Which I've done once. Only once. Um, Trouble is, I died immediately afterwards. Um, you know, I can do the game in bits. I just can't do it all at once. I can't do it in one go. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, it's best not to know what they are. Oh, I don't believe it. Thank you. 64 likes. That's fantastic. 24, 26 watching. Thank you. Cheers, all right, guys. I really appreciate it. It's very late for some people. Oh, dear. Right. Okay. Go, go, go. But yeah, if you don't edge forward, they'll keep you spawning and you won't get anywhere. Go, go, go. Two, maybe three. You need a lot of luck here. As Silver Black would say. A lot of, lot of luck. Go! Go! <clears throat> right. Yes! Okay! Hit repeatedly in the nose. There you go. One more and we are okay to go. He needs a machine gun. Yes, only four were going to battle with a fish in his hand. No, he hit me alive. Don't believe it. Somebody go back to the start, don't you? Damn it. Poo. Dead in the middle, yeah. Well, you get past him. Then you see it, um, you see it like a, I don't know what it is. It's like a, I don't know, like a whirlpool in the sand. You've got to jump over it. Otherwise, believe it or not, you're going to sink into the sand. Get past that. There's a statue that's all in this position. And you've got to hit him repeatedly. It'll crumble. And that's how you get the second orb. I don't know. What do you want? One more, one more go? Or do you want to say we'll call it a day? He does need a super R-type beam, yes. I think I'll call it a day. I'll give. I'll get some more practice in, and we'll see what we do in the future. Yes, it is. Yes. Weird dreams. Your only hope. Dare you fall asleep? Made in the UK. <laughs> right. I'm gonna call it a day, people. I'll leave it as that. We made a little bit of progression anyway. But yeah, I've got to try and solve this English country garden scene. Keep getting eaten by balls. Right, thank you very much guys, I'll see you next time, I've got a few videos still to finish off, but of course, I'll keep you posted on that. Thank you for all the donations, thank you for all the likes, thank you for all the subscriptions, really appreciate it, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you very much, <laughs> take it easy. No, still here Robert Gray, take it easy, happy gaming, I'll see you next time. Take it easy, ciao bye, and thank you for streaming, oh, no problem, no problem at all. I will get there one day, I promise. Well, I'll try. All I can do is try. Cue the outro. Cheers. Take it easy. Ciao, bye.